This episode of the podcast is brought to you by Very Hard to Submit. Go to VHTSNY.com and check out their kimonos, compression gear, and apparel. This is a brand we are excited to be supported by. Their gear is high quality with a clean design. Go to VHTSNY.com and see for yourself. Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Grappler Union Podcast. In studio today we have Ramiro Machete Mota. Ramiro is a second degree black belt under Comprito and is the head Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu instructor at Mission MMA. Enjoy. I need the six minutes. That's what happens in that six minutes. You told me we see any technique that works. Never to limit myself to one style. Keep an open mind. We're not here to take part. We're here to take over. In order to become more peaceful, in order for you to become better, and you can strategize your life. Ah, relax. Relax. Beautiful thing. So we were just talking, like when you started jujitsu, how many schools were there in like the yeah, Chicagoland area? There was uh, three schools: um, Adam Carlson from Remember, and then uh, it was he. It was um, he called it MMA, American Martial Arts, but it was Dino Costillas, mm -hmm. and and that's where I blew up. You know, little by little, just in more people, yeah. more people, and then uh, I was. Uh, you know, like everybody else watching the UFC and you know, Alex <laughs> Gracie was like, man, this guy's like um, awesome, you know, and like like the third tape because at that time it was tape. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Gracie in action and everything. Right, right, right. Yeah. I was like, no, actually the third UFC tape. The third oh, UFC. you're talking about, okay. Yeah, right, 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 I bought right. the Gracie in actions and my wife said for like six months, that's all I watched. She's like, oh, she's <laughs> just over and over. She was just so tired of it. So, and then... Uh, uh, my cousin of mine came over just random and he saw all the videotapes. He's like, Oh, I train with a guy who does jujitsu. You want to try it? And I'm like, Yeah, sure. So, you know, no caller ID or something. The phone kept bring, phone kept bring. My wife's like, Look, just tell him you're not going to go. And and it was my cousin. I said, All right, screw it. So I was like, Hey, Elvis, you know, fine, I'll go with you. And I guess I walked in and hooked. 20 over <laughs> 23 years later, it was wow. it. And I remember walking in. And uh, there was, uh, I was like doing like weightlifting like four days a week and eating and me and my buddy were always going to the gym. Something I'm like, all right, I'm going to weightlift, I'm power lift and I'm going to do jujitsu, man. I want to be, you know, right. badass. So there was this uh, guy named Stanley, he was like 135 and I was like 200 pounds, like royal Hulk, right. like, oh yeah. Man, he whipped my butt <laughs> so bad that I sat there and go, this is the awesomest thing ever. You know, really, it's like, right, yeah. yeah, I was like, this is, you know, it's like people who come in the gym, really big guys, they have two complexes. Either they come in and they get the butt whipped and then they love it. Or well, they came to the bubble and like, uh, you know. Right. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to yeah. pretend like that didn't happen. Yeah, we're, we're, <laughs> yeah, yeah we, we, we used yeah. to have like bouncers come in and, and get the smaller guys and then they wouldn't come back, you know. Yeah, right. And I used to have guys come in and they were like, uh, this is awesome. I want to learn it and learn right. it. And that's the best, you know. It's like when people come in and you change their perspective on anything. Especially jujitsu ju that don't understand. Mm -hmm. They come in like, oh, what is this? And you kind of tell them to like. All right, all right, and then you kind of show them, and and they're like, "Oh, this is actually pretty cool." I was like, "Yeah," and I'm like, it, "It's a joke. Like, we want to put you to sleep, but we don't want to hurt you." Right, <laughs> right. You know, right. and in the beginning, it and it was rough because uh, when we had moved to a place called Iron Fist, and at the time everybody was UFC and this and that, so we used to have guys come in and like physically challenge us. Right, and and at that time. Um, you know, I, me and my, uh, I had a buddy named uh, Dino, Lil Dino. Uh, we were just bad men <laughs> because you know, like when you bounce shake, somebody just wants to learn or spar, and you know when you bounce shake, somebody wants to like really hurt you. Right. Yeah. And these guys were just, you know, so that was evolution. You know, UFC one, two, right. three, and then Andre came in. Um, um, my, my instructor was sick for like three days and I, and we had a translator and uh, I was like, oh, okay, you know, does he know? He says, no, he doesn't know anything. 
So we showed I showed him an armbar because this, and then um, I showed him an armbar, and we, I we took her to the um, circus, and my brother taped it. So that's how old this is. Yeah. <laughs> no video. He taped it. Right. Get home, put that, pop the tape in, and you like kind of like camcorder. Like yeah, camp yeah. 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 one of the big ones too, probably. Right, right. 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 Yeah. Yeah. And he won by armbar, man. I was so happy. <laughs> <laughs> so it was pretty cool. You know, so and then on and, and then we moved to Powell. Uh, you know, we, we should probably clarify. Which Andre were you talking Orlowski. about? There we go. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, Andre Orlowski. I'm like, I know who he's talking about. Yeah. I don't know if anyone. Yeah, Andre Orlowski. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so he came in a kid. Right. Like, you know, this yeah. is, oh, wow, almost 15 years later. Right. So he was a young, I mean, he was 240, but solid muscle. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. man, you, you're looking at, he brought buddies with him. You're looking at him like. Where do they make these guys from? Man? Like, really, they're just mo- they're beasts. Yeah, cut out of pure stone. Oh yeah, yeah. It's, you know him and and his uh, man. They're really really nice guys. There. You know, and then we moved on, and then uh, we moved to Pow, and then uh, a, st- uh, a buddy of mine. He um, they wanted to open up a school in Palatine Flow. Okay. So that's so now I was kind of like in the um, at, when he's when he went to move. I was kind of like. Um, Limbo, you know, I was like, ah, you know, where do I go? Right. So we're sitting in front of my grandmother's house and, and I was like, and she had a storefront. I said, hey, can I put mats in here? She's like, yeah. So I was like, all right, cool. So, you know, I, I told my instructor, they say, hey, you know, I'm going to put mats in my grandma's house. Kind of right. start somewhere. I was, I think it was literally this big. The Maybe? size of the studio? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, no, really. The, we had awesome. this much mat space. Like two, we can only go two matches. Yeah. Right. So then I was teaching at Flow and then uh, Cabrillo came along. And what's funny was because the the guys that work there, they're like, oh, he's like this, and he's going to tell you this and structure this. Man, the guy going to be more nicer, yeah. nicest person ever. Yeah, we've had, com- was, we've had Comprito on. Yeah, because, yeah. you know, he came in and super, super nice guy. You know, he was talking to me, and he was, okay, you know. Was, um, and, you know, the great thing about my friends or people that know me, it's like um, – me, not me personally. I, I never say like, even now. I'm like, I'm not good at anything. The one thing I'm probably good at is, uh, I don't know, figuring out movies that uh, or something that was gonna happen at the end. But I never say I'm good at anything. You know, it's like, um, you got good. Cho- I'm gonna tell you right now. You got good choice in tattoos there. I'm seeing uh, the Incredible Hulk. I see Captain America over there on that other arm. Oh, you're speaking yeah, yeah. Javi there. Yeah, this is my yeah. language, man. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, I've been collecting them since uh, seven. Since I was a kid. Oh wow. Yeah, we go to the Comic Cons every... Uh... Oh, do you? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah we well, just... this, this is where Paul Maloney's shutting off the podcast right now. <laughs> right, right. If you, but if but you the rest of the fans. The, yeah, if you look at the Facebook, you see we dressed mm-hmm. up my grandson, first year Hulk, second uh, year uh, Joker, and this year was uh, Superman. Nice. Uh, and then the one in October, you know, there's one uh-huh. coming in October, right? I didn't know that. No. Yeah, it's a brand new one. Oh, wow. Dude, they got like five people from the Avengers. We're going to dress them up as Thanos. What do you go as? Nothing. Me. Oh, he goes. To- <laughs> <laughs> not, not everyone who goes to the comic book conventions cosplays. Right. You don't have to go as a no, character. No, man. <laughs> That's not I just, required. When, well, when, no, yeah, when I go. see it. Yeah, 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 yeah Sorry. Yeah, yeah. When you I have see to go, it, I just you. see people in costumes. There's just dedicated fans. Oh, yeah. just dedicated. So we yeah. dedicate uh, my son yeah. as a fan. Ah, he's the fan. Yeah. But, you know, like, like, believe it or not, if I were to walk around dressed up as Captain America, like normally, yes. I would get strange looks. Probably. Yeah. yeah. Oh, no. These guys. <laughs> not, uh, not, at, dry, not a comic con. Just no. drive by. They're, they dress up better than ha- Halloween. Oh, it's the yeah. lifestyle for these guys. Yeah. Yeah. Man. Yeah, so, so now there's a new one coming in October. Yeah. Coming this is like a brand new one. So what do you mean? When you say brand new, what no, does that mean? Like This is the first time. Because every year they have... Um, because they have Comic Con here before. Yeah, they have Comic Con, Wizard have, uh, World, Wizard World, and then they have. Oh, uh, these are different things. There's one in April. Uh, uh, I forgot what the name of it was. It's a lot. And well, what do you do? Aeon, what do you do? What do they do at these events? Like, uh, what are the boots you guys are going to see? Spend the money. Well, yeah, that, that's a big part of it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this, the, um, they're booths, and then they have like, um, like what could be there. So you, uh, you'll have like have uh, artists, artists, artists. Okay. Yeah, they'll, they'll have oh. artists selling like prints of their work, Stars. which then you can get stuff signed. Okay, uh, you get an opportunity. Yeah, meet meet yeah. like famous actors and right. actresses. Thanos, uh, the guy who plays Thanos, Captain America, mm-hmm. Scarlet Witch. They're all gonna be there. Wow. Yeah. yeah, so it's an opportunity to actually meet and greet you know people that you maybe been watching on television or yeah. in, in you know in movies. Right, right. Uh, a lot of times they'll do. 
like when I say seminar, I don't obviously mean like a martial arts seminar, but they'll like have like a, a lengthy Q and A session with like somebody who's like on the creative staff or a given production or something like that. Mm-hmm. Sometimes, uh, like this is bigger at like San Diego Comic Con, which is like the big big show. I okay, see. but um, like a lot of times they'll they'll drop like movie trailers or stuff like that that haven't been released yet so you you pay you get to go in and you get to see stuff before anyone else is ever going to see it yeah i i i didn't i didn't work it because i wasn't involved with the company but i used to do uh i used to do uh security for movie screenings and the year that um gosh which one uh uh the nolan batman what was the second one called um was that dark knight yeah, I think so. Definitely. Yeah, okay. So so the year Dark Knight came out, they did a special presentation, like just a minute of footage, mm-hmm. okay, um, at one of the comic book conventions. I think it was Wizard World, but don't quote me on that. Like I said, I didn't actually work the show. And they had like eight guys on staff protecting making sure ma- ma- making sure that nobody was like in there with a wow. with a with, with a cell phone yeah. trying to record it, release wow. it on the internet or anything. Yeah, like like you know, but that that's part of the appeal of going to these big shows is getting the down low on stuff, getting the mm-hmm. insider information yeah. before anyone else can. I'll send you the info on this one. Then. You take yeah, it. do that. Please. Yeah, it's yeah. pretty cool. <laughs> he he, yeah, he so. needs to experience this. Is that yeah. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, uh, so anyways, I'm sorry, go back to, uh, then, uh, so, like I said, Caprido was, uh, word of mouth, you know, he's like, mm-hmm. oh, Ramiro, you know, I hear you're, uh, you know, you're this, you're that. He's like, um, he's, he, how do you word, he words like, like you're, a black belt. And I was a brown belt at the time. I said, "Whoa, whoa hold on a second. I says, "Train with me for a year, and then he's like, "No, oh, okay, okay." It's like, "Cool, cool." So you know, we trained, and and um, I competed in the Pan Ams. I took third, and then came back, and then he he wore uh, the first American black belt from Cabrillo. Really, I didn't yeah, know that. Man. I didn't. I didn't know that till the guy next to me when he gave it to me, and that there's a picture of me. I'm just looking down, and I'm like. There's a black look on my face because I probably can't believe it, you know? Right, right. It's Stunned. like so many years of uh, training and just injuries and this and that. And then I was like, oh, you know. And then the guy next to me goes, you know, you're his first American black belt. And I was like, wow. Well, I, yeah, I like, oh, no. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> oh, man, it was so cool. He didn't say anything to you? He wasn't like, you know. You no, know, he's, he's really just, mellow, really, yeah. really not like. <laughs> so She's a real chill guy. So in that span, so from. When did you so when did let's take us back for a second? Here. Okay. When did you start? You started, I in, started when I was 27, I was 28. She was like one, so I kind of do the math. I was like, been almost there the whole journey, yeah, yeah, wow. yeah, been there through the whole thing. <laughs> and yeah, so and all. about 22 years, 20, okay, 22 years, so late and, 90s, yeah, yeah. 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 And and Comprito made you his first American black mm-hmm. belt how many years ago now? Mm, so I got two stripes. So it was like twelve years, uh, a little over twelve years. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So and then, uh, so and then I had my little place and my grandmother's. Well, we call it abuelas because it was my grandmother's. <laughs> That's so a great name for a gym. It was, it was literally me, uh, my two cousins, and that was it. Mm-hmm. And then another uh, uh, buddy of mine came in, and then and I don't know how it started. Like really, like people started coming in, like oh yeah, I heard and. And then uh, next thing I'm, I'm looking at a space like this, and there's like twenty something people. Right, this ain't really? gonna work anymore. No, no, right, yeah, right. I'm, not, I'm not kidding. And then uh, so one day my cousins are like, "Hey, you know, let's expand." And I was scared. Um, uh, For sure. Uh, trust me, I was like, the one main thing that I'm scared of is change. Right. <laughs> like I, I'm so I'm I'm a creature of habit. So if if something goes out like really off the norm, they're like, you know, I'll start panicking or something. So. No, no. They, we got together, and uh, my two, uh, my cousin uh, Jerry Cepeda and, and Stevie Steve Burkhardt was like a diamond in a rough. It, they got together. They got the paperwork, and uh, like, look, we have these many people coming in. Let's, and so we opened up a place on Archer. And man, it was I was pretty nervous and excited. Right. So um, we ended up there uh, for about five years. So and then. Uh, a good friend of mine, Saeed, opened up Mission, mm-hmm. and he's the Muay Thai guy. So I started talking to him. I was like, hey, you know, I was like, so we ended up getting together with him, and now we're kind of where I'm, where I'm at right now. So, right. And, and it's pretty cool because, um, uh, like I said, it was just to start with three people right, right. and then to have, I didn't even call them uh, students. I call them like 
I never say my students. I say my my guys or uh, my homies or my brothers or my sisters, like, because I don't feel like, like we're all students, exactly. you know. So I don't, yeah. I don't, I I never, I never say students. I never say, because there's always like something you can learn. Like you can teach me something, like some stuff I don't know, you know. So, so it's awesome, man. These guys are just, I can't thank these guys more than just I, I once in a while I'll text them thanks for sticking around with this old man this night you know so so it was pretty cool it was um it was and uh, we were there for a while and people coming in and out and and uh so we ended up in mission so and just and thank god every, I wake up in the morning you're still there now right yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. I wake up in the morning thank god and and uh they and have you, and you do this part time yeah. yeah I go to work blue cross yeah. in the morning get up go home Kiss my grandchild, play with him for a second, and then go to, right go off to the, class. Right yeah. off to the second job. Coincidentally, yeah. quincent, he and I worked at Blue Cross at the same time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. How fucked so, up is that? Yeah. Right, right, Talk right. about small world. Small yeah, world. Really? Yeah, yeah, crazy. Yeah. yeah, so I started at Blue Cross with you. I think it was like 99. Yeah. And I left there in 01 uh, as their, I, this is like I said, before the second edition, before yeah. Millennium Park was still being built. Yeah. yeah. I think it took forever. Like oh, yeah. people were telling me like, what the fuck is going on with that? Right. But yeah, Blue Cross, but man, it's a great place to work. Yeah. It's great still, place. it's probably, it probably looks the same. Yeah. Like if you go there, you, yeah. it literally looks the same. What they're doing is just building uh, floors now where they're like, like little pool tables and, I know, I know, tables. I know I loved <laughs> yeah. going, like when I first got the job there and they showed me like the, the, food court area or where they make all your meals you go there and just tell them they have like an omelet station oh, yeah. and it's fucking mm. i'm like wait what <laughs> yeah. i just tell you what to make you're just gonna make it for me they're yeah, just like yeah. these guys yeah. like, this is the fucking best then you spent so you'd spend 20 to 30 dollars parking every day right and then you could spend another 20 to 30 dollars on, on lunch, on your lunch. And, <laughs> and you know breakfast or whatever yeah but man i used to, oh, it so yeah crazy. it's rough i've been there 26 years and then doing jiu-jitsu for 22 years so it's like you know, people are like. Well, you did say you were a creature of habit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, really. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, and so to, you were the, you're an IT guy there? No, no, I'm a cl like a clerk. Okay. Yeah. Now we just uh, don't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, you work at a job for 26 years, and you'd be like, eh, okay, I'm done. Yeah. You know, so, <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, it's you know, people are like so. Oh, you know. Is this what you do all day? I said, no, I, I got a re I'm a regular, I got a re you know. Yeah. But you remember when 9-11 happened, right? Oh, yeah. That was crazy. Yeah. Wait, that when 9-11 happened, crazy. I had my headphones on and yeah. I heard it on the radio. So I don't know if you remember, they had these conveyor belts um, where they send um, work stuff. Yes, up. The, the, you put them in the thing and it goes up the thing. No, no, these were like big tubs. Oh, big tubs. Yeah, so they had these steel doors that would s slam if there was like a fire or like a fire drill. Okay, no, I don't remember that. So I'm listening to 9-11 on my headphones and I'm going, oh my God, oh my God, right? <laughs> so I go in the room to uh, to grab my jacket and leave mm -hmm. and the door slams. The It's a little door, but it's a steel door. It's got to weigh like 50 pounds. I mean, it makes the biggest sound. Yeah, yeah. giants. <laughs> okay, Michael Jordan had nothing on me because I jumped from there <laughs> to over there because you, you're, I'm freaking out because you're hearing all this noise. Yeah, right. Like, oh my God, the buildings, isn't it? Man, it scared me. So me and my buddies ran, ran down and we hugged each other and we went home. It's crazy. You know? yeah. and like, yeah. so I, because I was a little asshole when I worked there, I would pretty much make my own hours because I thought I was a shit. <laughs> so I would come in at like 10, 11, but I'd stay to like seven o'clock at night or whatever because yeah. you'd I put was in your night. time. I put in my time, yeah. but I would not, I wouldn't bend to their rules of like nine to five. I was like, come on, Brenda, I, I get my shit done. I'm, I'm like the best on your team here. Come Shout on. Shout out to Brenda. Yeah. <laughs> right. So I pulled up, I was in traffic when nine 11, like after everything happened. So I, I pull up at around, it was after 10 o'clock and the building was evacuating. Right. And I'm like, what the fuck? So I tried to get in, but they're like, okay, you got to get the fuck out. I'm like, yeah. what's going right. on? I didn't really understand what's going on. My boss, Brenda's like, anything, oh, can you take me to take me home? I don't want to just, you know, I don't want to, take the because she takes public transportation home right i want to get to my kids mm -hmm. i'm like sure brenda hop in so at that time i had like a bmw z3 convertible <laughs> so we're cruising down to i'm taking my boss you know no planes in the sky where you know the top's down and i'm like what the f yeah, it's just yeah. so Weird day. eerie driving through downtown everyone's leaving the buildings yeah. No planes. Yeah, all the traffic's Everyone's outbound dead traffic. Quiet. It's yeah. like what the. You still fuck? don't get used to the pictures. No. When like you know, just the other day when they 
they show like video, you're looking at it and you're like it's you can't get used to it. No. You're like no, you don't get used to it. I, I mean, working for a, a different company now, but for for 16 years I worked for the same company, and when 9/11 happened, our office was like right at the edge of O'Hare, mm. and like I I just remember like like going outside. No planes, no eerie, sound of planes. Yeah, yeah, it was like so eerie. it's never been more quiet right. here. Um, yeah, yeah it was, it, it, that was that was definitely a, a weird day. Like I think it, everyone everyone who was of a, of a right age for it mm-hmm. pretty much remembers exactly what happens when they when they found out, you know, who they were talking to or how they found out, right. what Strange. that day was like. Yeah, yeah, it was it was it was odd. It was definitely an odd day, yeah. man. But but yeah, then I uh, I quit there and I was like. I'm starting my own company. That was it. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah. But I think I went back a few times just to say hi to the guys and stuff. Yeah. But, you know, then when I saw they built that second edition, I'm like, Jesus Christ. Yeah. At the time, it was only Oof. building built to add on. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think now buildings are more now. Right. They can add on. But yeah, at the time, I think it was only building. Add yeah. On, so. it's, it's a cool yeah, building. Upward expansion. Yeah. yeah. So I go to work, come home. And train. Train. Yeah. yeah. So well, you teach. Teach every day? Uh, except Wednesdays and Fridays. Uh, Wednesdays is MMA, and then Fridays is nogi. Okay. So I was teaching no, uh, the nogi, but you know, not like like I kind of switch, like I double up on Tuesdays because um, like I'm a grandson. You know, it's yeah. like I'd rather be home Friday and just spend time. How old is he? Four. Four. So he'll be getting jujitsu really soon. Well, he's uh, uh, he's Tangy. slowly getting into it. Is he? Yeah. yeah, but the other kids are too big for him yeah, right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. So he actually trains with us. Like, okay. If, if you look, I got little videos of him. Do you? And, oh yeah. Nice, oh yeah, yeah. Nice, nice. Yeah, he lo- and um. Said, uh, he'll work uh, Muay Thai with Said. Yeah, he'll say Muay Thai, Muay Thai. He's like, can I? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, I know so. we, we mentioned earlier off off air because we didn't know what, what, how you would take it, but a few of your students went into a little little bit of a gym raid <laughs> at Ten Plant Chicago one time. Right, right. <laughs> I don't know. If, I don't know if raid's the appropriate term because no, that, that, that makes it sound like it was like gang violence right. or. Wait, like, what? <laughs> I don't know. What was, one of them was my cousin. And then <laughs> but the funny part was is, you're like, I told them not to do it. Yeah, the yeah, first I, thing I, you said out of your mouth, I told them not I to. I said do no, that. guys. They're like, no, no, no. We're not gonna. I said, guys, don't do nothing. Don't go in there being in like, no, no. We swear, me too. We're not gonna do nothing, nothing. I was like, I mean, all they did was take a class. Yeah. They they rolled and all they. Was Were you guys saying, there? I wasn't there. No. Paul, Paul, Paul was, was there, there and, a, and yeah. a bunch Dan Conway, a bunch of guys <laughs> yeah. And they just said that they were your brown belt said he was a blue, right. and the two blue belts said they were right. white belts. And then they pretend like they didn't know what they were doing, right. and then they rolled. Yeah, that was right. it. Yeah, like, like <laughs> I said, it wasn't like there was like there was no actual problem. No, you know, yeah. the, no. but yeah. everyone was looking at him like, "You guys look like you know what you're doing. Right. Right. You don't look like a bunch <laughs> of white belts." Yeah, yeah. but like it, like I was saying, like we got into a discussion kind of along these tan, uh, these terms. Like I've had other guys do that before, like at the judo club, for mm-hmm. example, or or at jujitsu or whatnot. And I'll I'll, I'll go to work with them. And I'm like, hey, you ever done anything like this before? And they'll be like, no. And then I'll start moving around with them. I'm like, oh, okay, well, you're not you're not fooling anyone. So, right, right. so what's your actual experience? And, right. and you know, then they'll be like, well, I've never done judo, but I wrestled for eight years. I was about to say that. I was about to say that. I was about to say, guys come in, they're like, have you ever done this before? Like, no, I've never done this before. Like, okay, put on a Guinness. Right. And all of a sudden, they're all over the guys. I'm like, whoa, 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 you just said, you know, he goes, oh, I've been wrestling for 20 years. I'm like, Oh well, yeah. technically yeah. you have been doing right. something. They do right. it all the time. All the time. Yeah. All the we time. had a, yeah. we had this one guy. And there was there was a massive language barrier, so that may have been a factor. But we had a one guy who was an MMA fighter mm. back in like I can't even remember what what Eastern European country, okay. but like you know, was, and he comes into the judo club, and we're like, "Do you have any experience?" And he had like his friends translate for him, and he's, and he's like, "No." I'm like, oh, okay. So we like put him with like another right. relatively inexperienced right, right, guy, right, right, and right. we're like, okay, we're gonna teach you some foot sweeps and stuff like that. And this guy like like double legs him and slant. You know, I'm just like, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's gonna be one of those days. <laughs> I, I, one time that happened, we we're back in Paul. So I was like, hey, have you done this before? He goes, no, no. So I'm watching him. I think I was a brown belt at the time, and he's all over these guys. I mean, he's tapping, tapping them. I was like, all right. So I take my belt off. And I grab one of my buddy's blue belts. So as I'm tying it, <laughs> as I'm tying it, I'm walking by my instructor. He just looks at me, and goes, he didn't say anything. I was like, oh, "Okay, you want to roll?" He's like, "Yeah." Man, I was all over him. I was like, "Hey, dude!" I was like, "You're doing, you're like, you've done something before." He goes, 
okay, okay. I was like, come on, man. It's like, right, right, right. You know, it's, it's not, uh, just be honest. It's like, right. n- we don't care anymore. It's like, right. or let everyone in on the joke afterwards. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah, well, yeah, but wrestlers do that all the time. Like, I've never done this before. And like, Right, and a lot of times <laughs> yeah. they're just being like, like they don't know how much of their skill is going to translate over. Right. I think, yeah, but no. like they, they get, think mm. it's going to be like night and day sometimes. Right. But also sometimes those guys yeah. are just like, you know, I don't want to, you know, I want to go in here and win. Right, right. <laughs> or not training no gi for five years. Right, right. And then they put a gi on. They're like, I've never done this before. And then right. they're like, Whoa, whoa stop! <laughs> you doing this? Oh, I've been training no gi for five years. Like, right. I have no. So you have been doing right. something. Right. I have yeah. no rank, but I, but, but yeah, I, yeah. yeah, all the time. But I have twelve naga belts at home. You know, right. like. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it's a it's a weird thing, but I myself like I don't want to walk in and just be like, oh yeah, you're like here's my here's my litany of accomplishments and what. No, no like if I'm right. coming to you like like because I want to learn something, I just yeah. I just want to learn, you know. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah. yeah, yeah, with no malicious intent, right? Right, I right. Mean, yeah, as long as you're. <laughs> But don't roll with, don't put a white belt on. Roll with a white right. belt. Well, and like then, you know, without getting into it, people ask me like, you know, do you have experience? And I'll be like, yes, yeah, yeah. You know, for sure. Yeah, for I've, sure. I've grappled yeah. for a long time. Right, right. You but, know, now the internet and everything, there's, there's no way you can like lie anymore. No, right. people are like, oh, yeah, it's like, uh, you know, when they catch people like getting black belts and like, and then all of a sudden you're like, dude, yeah. oh, that the fake black belt stuff. Yeah, you know, it's like, crazy. you know, but I guess that's a good thing about them. Like, you can't. But There's, these new ones now, these new, not, not fake black belts, but these, I get these, I know Joe Rogan posts it, uh, but like when people are doing like these fake, uh, I don't know if they're fake or not. I'm hoping they're not real, but where this big fat guy. Oh, I've seen that. You see that? I, I <laughs> must like, have missed this one. Okay. So this What's big going? fat guy. Right. Oh, like, wait, wait, wait. Is this a Sistema thing? Sistema yeah. thing. Oh, yeah. Like this. oh God. And the guy just falls over. <laughs> he flips. Con- yeah. He's flipping. I'm <laughs> he's like, flipping. what? This cannot. And there's people filming this. I'm like, there's no fucking way. <laughs> right. That no, these, no, no. Everyone, everyone's right. got to be in on it. This got to be a huge joke. It can't right. be real. Wait, there's one, uh, KI master against an MMA fighter. You ever seen that guy? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's where he gets his ass whooped, right? Right. So, okay. So, you know, the MMA fighter for a split second when he's squares up a guy you know for that split second i don't care who you are you're going man uh, this shit better not work on me <laughs> or fuck it. you're scared like right. if he goes like this and knocks me out I- i'm and right. so you see him hesitate and yeah. then when he throws a first punch he's like oh you're done yeah you're and done. then he kicks the old man in the face and yeah. it's, yeah. it's pretty bad yeah that one was particularly bad because that guy told like that's the thing that confuses me okay like like I've definitely seen people get involved in like a cult of personality type martial arts stuff. Yeah. Okay. I've, I've okay. seen it multiple times in my life, mm. not personally been involved in it. Okay. okay. But where like you believe the guy has some sort of like special gift, mystic power, whatever it may be. Yeah. Okay. Um, so I've seen that before. I still have an issue with when the guy gets called on his bullshit and he believes it. Yeah. So, like, that Kiai master, like, he really looked, like, yeah. he got popped in the mouth. Yeah. And he looked shocked. shocked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I haven't been hitting them, like. No one never yeah, challenged like, him, right? Did you actually think yeah, you I guarantee had? All his students are still there. Yeah. It doesn't It doesn't matter. <laughs> Man, that's, yeah, that'd be a, a shame. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. Oh, yeah. yeah. Just like that system, like that big fat guy. Like, it's yeah. on, like he was laying on the ground at one point, mm-hmm. and a guy was just, like, rolling off. Like, he just jiggled his stomach. <laughs> mm-hmm. was, oh, like, that's right. You remember that? I sent it to my brother. <laughs> yeah. I was like, look at this. Yeah. Yeah, somebody, somebody he jiggled I know, his po- stomach. Yeah. And the guy would, like, fall off of him. It's like, what is this? Yeah, somebody I know reposted it as, like, ultimate side control escape. I need to know this. And you look at the people on the side, you're like, what do they keep what thinking? What Kool-Aid are they drinking? What? It's like, yeah. well, they're so like, whoa, so I'm fascinated I, by it. I don't want to talk too out of turn here, but I've, I've known some guys that are involved in Sistema and related disciplines because there's more than one school of thought on that. Um, and I think it starts off pretty damn realistic. Like, here's how you throw a punch. Here's right. how you dodge a right. punch. And as you get deeper and deeper and deeper down the rabbit hole now it becomes i'm gonna you know i'm gonna deflect the power of your punch with a with a little sidestep or something like that right. like, oh wow cool that's amazing with with perfect timing he's able to do that and now i'm gonna deflect it by you know like catching it with my chin and then then i'm gonna deflect it by not touching you at all and now i'm throwing you across the room by looking at you funny right. and it's like but how does it get there 
well, yeah, How does it get we're there? talking about it, and it's it like, took it's like it years took, of like, brainwashing. Yeah, yeah, we're talking about it, and it yeah, took me like a is. minute to explain. It's, it's right. got to be, be years yeah. of brainwashing. Yeah, if you if you walk in there and you're just like, oh, dude, I just met the greatest martial arts artist yeah. of all time. He looked at me, and I flew across the room. Like, no, 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 no like, it's, it's, <laughs> it's constant happen. brainwashing. Yeah. It's like, oh yeah, but it's something had just doesn't come up there and just kick him right in the stomach. Okay, so kick him in the stomach. I'm like, well, what happened there, guy? So, and again, like. I'm not saying this has happened to me. I'm just explaining how I've seen similar mm -hmm. stuff happen. Day one, you're a white belt. Mm -hmm. I bring you to the front of the class. Right. Okay. I, I put you in front of, you know, honored master, grand sensei, Puba mm -hmm. of the universe. Yes. Okay. And he goes, I'm going to show you the devastating power of our martial art. I'm going to use 10% of my power. Mm -hmm. Okay. And he cracks you as hard as he can. Yeah. Okay. And you're like, God. Damn, that hurt. Yeah. Okay, and now that that was your first taste of ten percent. Right. Come back tomorrow. We'll give you we'll give you another taste, and we keep on doing that until eventually, you know, in anticipation of being hit, you start flinching. Right. I had a struggle that, hap that happened to him. And you just, yeah. you know, he's going to hit you. You know, yeah. it's going to hurt. You know, what the response is, and when you flinch away, that's what he's looking for. He yeah. doesn't hit you. Okay. I see. And now, Clever. all he needs to do is start making that move towards you. And, then you and move he's trained, yeah. He's so training like, you to move. Wow, yeah, that's, that's yeah. fascinating. That's and again, fascinating. like, like that doesn't happen day one. Day one, no, no, no. no just, he, ha just, he has to show you something real, right? And then I had an instructor who went crazy. to one of those seminars. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And he's like, "Well, I don't want." And he's like, "No, no, punch me." He's like, "Punch." He's like, "Do your dimak or whatever you know." I don't, I don't know what it's called. Like your pressure point. Pressure stuff. point. He's like, "No, yeah. do it, do it." He's like. No, no, you know, because they don't want to do it. Like you said, they, and at first, right. and they're like, only no. going to do it to their students. He's like, so, so he's cracking me. He's cracking me. He's like, it hurt. And the guy's like, well, what did you eat today? He's like, what? <laughs> he's like, what did I eat? They're like, what's that got to do with it? You know, it's like. Right. No, I, like, okay, so George Dillman is a really famous pressure point guy uh, from, like, back in the day at this point. You know, I, I, I haven't heard much about him recently. But um, he would, he would give seminars and there's like a lot of guys in the local area that have at some point or another trained with him um like in the karate and and, and other martial arts scenes and he would be like okay i'm gonna i'm like he'll grab you by the wrist and he'll hit you here and like i'm striking at my wrist and then there's another pressure point up on like the forearm mount mm -hmm. i'm gonna hit you here on the wrist i'm gonna hit you here on the forearm mount so the first hit's gonna be here and the second hit's gonna be here and then the third hit is gonna be on the neck and it'll be here 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 and it's a three-point knockout so i have to hit you and, and like the whole time he's hitting you right. really really hard on each of the points right. and they cracks you in the neck <laughs> okay and his students would like fall over dead. Right. Okay. And they would, they would always manage to fall safely though. <laughs> of course. Right, right. Either somebody would catch them <laughs> right, or they right. would be unconscious, but still manage to do a proper break right. fall. Right. Okay. Um, so yeah, like, like, so you'd get this, this, this sensation of, oh man, like that hurts so much. Right. Like he, like he hit me in this pressure point and it really, like he didn't knock me out cause that wouldn't have been safe. Right. You know, but, but he hit me in these pressure points and it, it hurt a lot. And then like you see him knock somebody out with like three light touches and it's like yeah if if you're not i don't want to say say it but if like you're not woke <laughs> you know, <laughs> if you're vulnerable to the suggestion you're like oh yeah. he has mystic powers yeah. oh yeah yeah it's, it's a brainwash thing yeah. yeah do those guys go to comic-con probably no <laughs> <laughs> if they do they're dressed up and you have no idea yeah. you don't know who they are like, right <laughs> No, no, no. I, so, yeah, yeah it, I don't know. Martial arts are weird that way, though. Yeah, like, yeah. I just figured after this, I'm pointing at the UFC one poster. No, that changed after a lot. That, I figured no, the bullshit's no, out. I mean, everyone knows what's fucking definitely real. Definitely not. No, you, you still yeah. that, in that video with the guy. It's like recent. Yeah, it's recent. It's That's still, what's so crazy. Yeah. That's why I'm thinking: Are these fake? Are yeah, these we people? Think Jiu Jitsu and, real. and MMA and martial arts are so mainstream. Like. Who doesn't know Who what doesn't this is? Know what, yeah. yeah what so works. even a uh, people at my work are like, "Hey, you do that kicking stuff?" Mm -hmm. And I was like, "Yes." <laughs> do they do the karate hands when they say, "Yeah, that's always the best." Yeah. yeah, you do that. I said, "Yes." Oh, that's that kicking and punching stuff. Yes, I do the kicking. And I'm like, I don't try to explain because try to explain jujitsu to somebody who has no idea what it is. Yeah, they are. And they're like, "Hold on a second, your legs are where?" Mm -hmm. Yeah. And he's where? They're like, you have. Clothes on, well, it's a, like a uniform, uh, and, and so you, they understand. You got to tell them it's a karate gi, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. A, like a karate uniform. Okay, yeah. okay. And then 
don't even try to explain no Gideon because there's no, no. way. Yeah. They're like, yeah. okay, I'm like, oh, you know what? I'm not even going to tell you. <laughs> yeah, karate, karate gi, yeah. wrestling. wrestling yeah. If yeah. they've seen UFC, Judo? you know, we could, we could, well, yeah, but like most people haven't actually seen Judo. They think they know what it is. And if I say I do Judo, they make karate hands at yeah, me, yeah, they, but they, they say make, yeah. judo yeah, chop. Say right. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, but like, like I said, I've been working at my job for 26 years, so everybody knows. Right, right. You know, the guys are like, You're the hey, jiu-jitsu man. guy at the, yeah, at the yeah. building. Oh, yeah. no, no, they're super, like, uh, even my the my friends I work, they're like family, you know? We're all mm -hmm. been there for 20-something years. So they all know. So they're like, oh, you know, um, they'll say something like, uh, oh, did you see the fights last night? Oh, some fights and, you know, just basic stuff. But that, that was back in the beginning when I come with black eyes and like, Oh no, baby! You need to learn how to duck. Because one, one time I got hit so bad, I had five stitches in my eyebrow. Was that a knee or an elbow? Or? No, it was uh, uh the heel. I was oh, on the side, oh. and the foot came around. Boom! Hit me right in the head. And I knew I was like, okay, that doesn't feel too good. So luckily, the gi because it's so thick, I had it against my forehead, and then I went like this, and I just felt my eyes split open. Oh. So a buddy of mine who's interned at the doc, he's been um. Like, he just, they put him, uh, was it uh, when? Uh, His residency? Residency, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. At, the, at a hospital. So we go in the office. I go like this. He's like, let me see, take your hand off. So I go like this. And he goes, oh, that's nasty. I'm not touching. I'm like, you're a doctor. <laughs> I was like, go get your stuff. <laughs> he wasn't ready. Really? He wasn't ready. <laughs> really. I said, go get it. I go, dude, go get it. I said, I don't care. Don't. You know, I wasn't scared of the pain. I just didn't feel like going to the hospital. Right. He's like, I'm not touching that and this and that. So fast forward, we go to the hospital. And even the lady's like, oh, yeah, that's a good one. And then uh, my brother, who was a cop at the time, came in. He came in. He's like, he walks in. He goes, oh, that's pretty bad. But the lady did, I mean, she pulled it, pulled it, pulled it. You can't even tell that. No, you can't tell. No, no, it was like right across from here. Wow. So I go to work the next day because, man, we had we were shorthanded. And they're looking at me like, no, you need to stop. <laughs> you know, Why are they, you here? Yeah, because they didn't understand, you know. Right. And in the beginning, because we... Either you love it or you don't. You you walk in, and you know you love jujitsu. There's like, there's no like, oh, I'll come back and try it again. Negative. The the day I walked in, which I knew nothing, and I was like, I'm gonna smash these, this little guy, and he whipped my ass. I was like, I love it. So when you first when I first started, like, when you gonna stop? I'm like, never. When I die. Like, yeah, yeah, really. You know, it's like, um, I was lucky enough. To one time we went to visit California. To uh, was there when they were taking pictures of Elio Gracie for that book he had? He, mm -hmm. Remember he made a book? Yeah, yeah, I've got it. We, I was there when they were taking the pictures for it. So at the time it must have been what, like eighty because I know he was he was out there. there yeah, was, he was he was on yeah, in his like, years at that point. He was yeah. still. I swear, my life. You know how they they taking the pictures? He physically did it. It wasn't like stop, stop. Right, right. He was tossing his son right. and swinging for the arm bars and swinging for the cho and like. Like yeah. we do. Right, right. And I'm sitting there going, you know, that's how I want to be, you right, know? Right, right. Like, uh, we were talking um, to my, I was talking to my buddies the other day, like, God forbid, like, I die at 90, at 89, I want to be on the mats. Right. You know, it's like, you know the second you love, you come walking and you love it. So that's why when I worked, they're like, when are you going to stop? I'm like, never, you know? And then, you know, um, even your family, like, I think everybody, like, your family, when, they, for me, it was like to purple belt. People were like, when are you going to stop? When are you going to stop? And then when I turned purple belt, people were like, oh, he's going to do this forever. You know, for me. Right. Like, um, you, I, so you thought you were just going to get to purple belt no, and no, like no, be no. done? No, or? no, I knew I was going to do it forever. Oh, okay, that's when but, other people but, were. Yeah, when other people kept okay, asking, like, are you going to stop? Or when are you going to do this? Like, are you going to do this forever? But when, when I hit purple belt, they stopped asking me. They, they, they never asked, like, are you going to do it again? Or, I mean, uh, are you going to stop? Are you gonna, they just, they knew it was for life. Yeah, you know? Right. And when I started, it was me, my cousin, and my brother. And they kind of started slacking off, and I was scared. I didn't want to, like, man, you know, when you first go by yourself, and you're like, oh, you don't know nobody. And it was bad. I, they were used to armbar me so bad that I had I held a, I had to have a cast to hold my arm up like this. Because, wow. cause, I mean, at the time, you know, it was like, you know, the new guy, and they just put a hurting on you. And so little by little, I was like, okay, you know, started. Uh, so a guy came in one time, and he says, just defend for right now. Take your time, learn your defense, and then one day, then put your offense. So I was like, all right, all right. So one day I was like, all right, today I'm going to, this is going to happen. And sure enough, you know, my first arm bar, and they're like, what happened? I was like, oh, arm bar. He's like, 
oh yeah I go no I onboard him he's like very good right? he's like yeah. show me and then you know, progress like, yeah no I was so I was so happy yeah. so you know so it's like um, and then you know r- real quick looking at the posters like um, as a white belt I did an MMA fight and you know, but at the time, yeah, it jumped right in. What, yeah, yeah. So, because, so when was this? Like nineteen ninety one? Yeah, because at the time there was no, um, you know, th- there wasn't a lot of people to come in to promote you. So you're like, right. a white, you can be a five year white belt at the time. Yeah, yeah. So I was a white belt, and some guy came and called me. He's like, oh, you know, and you know, you're looking to you, uh, hoist crazy, like take out four guys and one like, like, oh yeah, I'm gonna do like four fights in one night, which is pendejo, right. you know. Right. It's like, <laughs> so I walk in there, and the guy's like, so I signed up for a tournament. So I walk in there. And the guy standing next to me is like, he's like, oh, that's your, that's your, the guy you're fighting. I was like, oh, okay. And he's like, uh, you only got one fight, right? I was like, no, I signed up for a thing. He's like, no, man. He's like, you never do that in your first. I'm like, I don't know. The guy was hyping me up, like, you could do this, you could do this, right, and right, like right. this and that. So the first guy came out like, uh, he he st- he came out running, like you know how like you see in movies, the guys like, like actually charged yeah, you, no bullshit, yeah. yeah. Like, you see the movie, the guy's flying, and so I'm standing like this, and he comes flying, and I literally turned to the side, and I picked him up, and I slammed him, and he spun right into a guillotine. So he hit it, and then I hear his car say, punch him in the face, and I'm like, oh, shit, he's going to punch him in the face. Because <laughs> <laughs> we were going to train jiu-jitsu. I didn't even train, right. like, you MMA doing, or boxing. You were doing Valley Tudo back then, huh? Yeah, yeah, no bullshit. Like, <laughs> like, all I trained was jiu-jitsu. I didn't train no boxing. A buddy of mine was... Uh, coming in training boxing a little bit, but he had he he uh, work and stuff, so he couldn't. So all I did was jujitsu. So I'm sitting there going, oh shit, he's gonna punch me in the face. So I really put it on. He tapped right away. Nice. So I was like, I don't know, a minute. So the next guy was a brawler. He came in blazing, and all I had, had felt was my head snap back. So I grabbed him. We hit the ground. I put him on guard. And he starts blasting me. Somehow, I think I pushed him, we got up, and then I turned to the side, and now I see, like, a waterfall of blood, like, coming out of my nose. So, we hit the ground again, and he starts blasting me, and then blood was in my eyes, and this and that. So, they just stopped the fight. Yeah. So, the thing was, I remember getting, walking out the ring, and there's blood everywhere, and my wife standing right there. I was like, oh, yeah, this That's not it. cool. <laughs> and, and people don't understand, like, even at the time, like, um, that... Like, I was just training jiu-jitsu and then going to work. But people who dedicate their lives, like, on the UFC, like, on the fighter show, and when they when they, they lose and they come back and they're crying, people that don't do what we do, they don't understand. They're like, why is he crying? Like, right. you don't understand. Like, I went to the bathroom. I'm sitting there, and I was, and like, my eyes watered up. I was like, man, I was like, I felt so bad. I felt bad looking at my wife. I felt just my team, this and that. I felt, you know, you feel like you let everybody down. And like, they don't understand, like, what you love so much and it's, to, I don't want to say failed, but to get something like that, like it's it hurts, you know, yeah, it hurts. No, and, sure. uh, it hurts a lot more than just the physical pain. Really, really, you know. So people are like, why is he crying? Like you know, you know, you know. Like I have my cousin. Like why doesn't he get up? You ever get that? Oh, why gosh. just get up? Why don't they get up? Like <laughs> why don't they get up? Like yeah. get punched in the face, you know. So yeah, yeah it's always fun. I mean, even even after my my fight to win fight when I got injured, I was more emotional not because of my injury like i i was emotional because i thought i wouldn't be able to train right i thought i was gonna be down for like yeah. months i'm yeah. like what the fuck am i gonna do huh? like i was like oh my god if i can't train i don't really i'm gonna go fucking crazy <laughs> like i didn't care that my foot hurt i didn't care if it yeah. was broke right. i just was like i can't believe i'm not gonna be able to go yeah. into into the gym yeah. tomorrow yeah. No, i'm no, not I, gonna be able to train tomorrow i, I was like what yeah. the fuck I am i gonna do i can 100 verify this because yes. i was in the back with yeah. him and he looked so upset and i'm like zito it it like it's okay your yeah. ankle's gonna be okay and he's like how am i gonna train yeah right. <laughs> the first it. thing that comes into your head because it. it's us because i remember when my knee popped it's like it felt, it felt like a balloon pop yeah mm-hmm. and i'm driving home and i was and I, my wife i started wiring up and uh my wife's like what's wrong what's wrong it's like the first thing i knew was bad and the first thing is like how long is it gonna take for you to get back on the meds yeah right like man i was like i'm not gonna be able to train i'm not gonna be able right. to train and i had a uh like a plastic cast on my knee for almost from my hip down to my ankle for almost four months because I, I didn't want surgery I was like no right, surgery right. you know and um, but I still went you know yeah, and, yeah. and then but yeah the first thing in your head is like I can be able to train I can be able to train you know yeah. so injuries you know thank God no surgeries yeah, um, good. but yeah I mean it's what we love it's like the yeah. first thing in your head is like 
When am I going to get back? When am I going to get right. back? You know? I had, there's a guy that came in. Um, he started with us at the old school, at the Archer. He had, he, he got into a motorcycle accident. And his knee was completely shattered. He has, he doesn't even have like a, a disc. He has wires in his knee. Okay. And he came in. This is how, what we do, like, it, I literally, you know, we, it changes lives, mm-hmm. like, for the better. And he came in, and we were scared, and a buddy was like, ah, you know, come back with my instructors here, because he found out, he's like, maybe this is not for you. So he came back. I said, hey, Charles, you know, he's like, no, no, I want to train. I'm like, all right, you know, let's give it a shot. Man, I tell these guys, roll with him. That guy is one of the strongest. He competed, and he won. Wow. And, um, you know, he doesn't have Facebook or nothing, but... You know, like make make a long story short, he he hasn't stopped. He's been with us for almost three years. He loves it. His kids are awesome at it, nice. and that's a perfect example. Like how the, we do, like change your life for the better. Like mm-hmm. I can't, you know, excuse me. Like I can't see when people say, uh, "Oh, tell them to try jujitsu." I'm like, it'll change your life. What, what do you think about it? It'll change your life. That's like, you know, uh. I have kids that, like, if I wasn't here, I'd be in the street or whatever. I'd be, you know, yeah. in jail or my cut, right. my friends, this and that. You know, it's like, I, you know, I, it, it's, I thank God for it because for me personally, it turns me into some regular schmuck that works for Blue Cross Blue Shield into somebody that can help change somebody's life. Right. If, if anything, for the tiniest, doctors, lawyers, I trained the... Uh, uh, FBI agents and doctors lawyers and as when they you know like CEOs but you're the CEO on the mat when they come to you yeah, right. like I'm the CEO here the tiniest thing that you show people and Jiu Jitsu like it'll, it, it, they don't, people don't understand it changes their lives yeah. they're like wow this is I can do this I'm like yeah you, you know like you know and and um, I like all my families most of my families on the mat my daughter, my cousin, my my grandson, you know. Um, so I treat when the first like I, people come in like you're no different from her. I treat you the same as her. So we're all family here, you know. So I right away because people um, they, they you know they go to the schools they're like all oh, these black belts don't roll with me or they they have like oh you enroll with me I'm like yeah sure why why you know it's like oh I've gone to school and the black belts never roll with me I'm like. Right. I, I don't see that. I don't. I don't understand. It. I can't yeah. get better if you don't get better. Yeah, I've, exactly. I've I've run into that. Like, yeah, it doesn't really affect me very much anymore. But like, I've definitely seen that at certain gyms. Not not trying to like like where that's the tradition. You know, yeah. like like as a white belt, you're probably not going to roll with the black belt. Their roles are mostly reserved for the higher belts, or when they approach you and like, yeah. hey, come get a roll with me. Yes. Right. You know. Um, no, yeah, people I've, people come up to me like, hey, coaches are cool. I'm like, yeah. And so, but and when Cabrillo came over, he's like. No, no, you're not. I didn't know. Mm-hmm. No, no, you can't ask a black belt. I'm no, like, right. it's cool. I go, I told him, I go, he, you know, I'm like, no, no, it's cool. I go, I, it doesn't bother me. I'm like, yeah, anybody can ask me. I was like, unless I'm tired or whatever. I'm like, right, right. but. Uh, yeah, but, at, at, at Maneco, he doesn't, you have to, higher ranks can't call out. I mean, lower, lower ranks, ranks can't call out yeah. higher ranks. Right. Oh, my guys are. Yeah. Oh. I mean, I, I can see, I can see the reasoning for it. I mean, I don't, I don't dislike it personally. You know, yeah. sometimes I'm. Sometimes a black belt knows when I want to roll with them because I'll stand yeah. in front of him, right? Literally stand <laughs> there, them. and I'll sit there and <laughs> right. wait for them to tie their belt. Right. I'm just standing there. I'm not getting any other. And I'm just like, and then he'll look up at me and he'll be like, "Hey, you want to go?" And yeah, I'm like, right. "Yeah, I do want to go. Thank yeah. you." Yeah. So, so you're like a kid in a candy shop, right? Exactly. You know, but yeah. I mean, I won't go there and do it. You know, just right, to be right. respectful. Yeah, no, my I guys are like, "Hey, coach," I'm like, "Yeah, yeah. come on." Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I, I roll with anyone. Yeah. You know, always have, always will. I will. Nowadays, I'm changing up a little. I mean, there's certain white belts that I know that I won't roll with. Yeah, there's one Just, of them like you have to be careful. There's one of them like a 350 pound linebacker. Yeah, they're, 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 they're <laughs> you have boys. to be careful because yeah, be careful. so yeah. when the, the people that just start off, they're especially if they're really strong, they're they're not used oh, to. Oh yeah, they've got spastic body. movement. Yeah, they hurt you. They yeah, hurt you'll you. get hurt more. Yeah. Sometimes you're like, slow down, yeah. slow down. You even have if, to even if you tell them they're being tense, and then sometimes like I got injured from a 200 plus pound white belt and because i was doing what i do and being too chill being too chill <laughs> right and i'm just like you know i'm gonna roll with it you know and it doesn't bother me that he's bigger I'll, I'll pull guard and and then he was like Ugh. yeah and i'm like oh shit yeah. and then he literally smashed my hand i'm like how the fuck did you smash my hand it's so weird nail on it or something? i don't even, don't even remember no, that was but, back in the day when they wouldn't even do that they would 
stand up on it the, and put like their form in my in my neck, oh. and then because they didn't understand, they understand right. you know, it's like I'm like, whoa, stop, I'm like, dude, don't put your form in my neck, because yeah. then that we're not doing jujitsu, we're doing something. I was like, oh no, no, I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. Right, right. So it's it's you to make them understand, you know. But again, you don't want to get hurt, so right. you're like. Calm down, Calm down, slow down a little so, bit. Yeah, so yeah. I explained to them. I said, and then they try to go for like ridiculous submissions. I'm just like, just <laughs> yeah. control the position. Right, right. I'm like, all you have to do, all you, I want you to do is try to control me. Try right. to make me not tap you. Right. That's it. Just worry about that. Don't try to do an arm bar. You're not going to get it. It's not going to happen. Just try to control me. Get side control. Get, you know, do something that we've learned in class. And that's how I tried to explain. I go, the submissions are going to come. They're going to come. But right, right but now, let's try to just control. control. Uh, just control. You, you tell people, See, control them. It's like, uh, was it uh, submission, a uh, position before submission? Right. Like, yeah. if you can't get the position, sub- you're not, you're you never, never get, get the submission. Get, right. but, but here's the thing, and, and you know this is true. Like, when you've been in it long enough, that, that, that submission is like the cherry on top. Yeah. You know, it's like it, 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 it's it's the final finishing yeah. touch. Yes. But when you start off, that's the cool shit, man. Yeah, that's the cool <laughs> shit. <laughs> like, I don't, don't want to do that. I don't want to just be on your side. I don't right. want to just take mount. I right. want to just do something with it. When I get on mount, I want to do something. I just want to control right. you. Like, yeah, because yeah. I tell them, I was like, if you don't, if when you guys are sparring, I go, I tell if you don't, doesn't one doesn't submit the other, it's, a, it's neutral. So people like they, you know, yeah, yeah, they, especially yeah. when they're new, late, you know, they go for like arm bars. They miss it by this right, much. Like, yeah. like, oh, you forgot the arm on the arm bar. But it's okay. I'm like, right. you know, you're, you're learning, you're learning, right. like little it's by little. When I, because I, I started teaching class, and I'm, uh, I try to be as detail oriented as possible. So when I, at the end of the class, we do three minute rounds for the for the beginners, and I. I watch the roles and I'm just like, oh, just do the technique right, right, properly. Yeah. Like I just want them to do the technique. If they did the technique properly, they would get that submission. Yeah. But they just like it goes out the window. Like yeah. they don't have enough reps in, and mm-hmm. they don't realize yeah. that reps and reps and reps is what gets the technique yeah. proper. And then when you do the role, you don't have to force it. It's not yeah. a forced movement. You have to walk around and tell them, don't add on to it, right. because people, because once one person adds on to it. And the other person, and, yeah. and, and it's like a domino effect. Right. Right. Everybody in the whole Going class, wildly off yeah, everybody's right. screwing around. It's like, trust me, don't add on to it. When you spar, your muscle memory remember exactly what you did because you did exactly. it right on. You weren't you know, doing this and doing that and going this way and going that way. You know, throwing salt and pepper on it. <laughs> like, just do what you got to do, and I go, and you'll it'll, you know, go through when you I'm like. All right, and then sometimes, oh, coach, it was right. Like. Oh, I know something. And I was like, don't joke around. They're like, hey, you don't, you do know a little something. Like, yeah. I was like, yeah. I, I YouTube did this morning, so I can, yeah. <laughs> so I was like, you know, I'll, um, good old reliable YouTube. Yeah. yeah. Right. <laughs> oh, that's the thing too. It's like, coach, I size you. No, no. Stop. No. That's right. right. Man, no, I, uh, and again, I'm just mess you up. <laughs> I, I'm not going to call him out on air, but I, I do have this one training partner who is famous. Like, I, I should probably say infamous for being like, I saw this move on YouTube. But here's the thing. He's got a like he's got good jujitsu and he's got like a really, really like very detail oriented mind. Okay. So like when he sees a move on YouTube, when most normal people say that, it's like, oh shit, here here it comes. Like yeah. he's gonna do no no, like he's like it, he'll break it down and be like it was like this and this and yeah. the, what's your interpretation of that? I'm like, I don't know, you just did the move fine. I right, mean right, right. <laughs> teach right. me that. <laughs> that thing you saw this morning on YouTube. Yeah, there's people who can break something stuff yeah. so detailed, yeah. like in ten parts, but for uh, for for me it's like three parts. Yeah. Right. You know, like, oh you control my hip like I was running one time like this. You control my hip and this time he was doing this and cutting the angle and this and, and he's going to I'm like two, three minutes and, and I'm sitting there going, Okay, when I was sparring, what was I thinking? Just don't let him go. Right. Really? Right, right. And I go, I go, oh, hold on. I go, I'm going to be honest with you. All that, you know what I was thinking? Don't let you go. Right. He's like, what are you? I'm like, that's all I was that's thinking. It. You know, because um, I, tr- I try to break things down really simple, you know, because mm-hmm. it, it's, it's like the way I tell people is like, it's like learning the ABCs. It's like, you don't want to go A, B, C, D, F, G on your first day. You're like, A, mm-hmm. stop, go back. A. Yeah, and then B, exactly. you know, it's like, if I break me personally, if I break down things more to, than three steps, then it's like ah, oh, people start slowing down, doing this. So I keep it one, two, pass, hold, submission, one, two, three, mm-hmm. and it's and it's easier for the people to come in, especially you know, to learn it that way. If I and then you know it's like this, I'm like okay, I got it. I'm like see, uh, and then and then you you turn sit like. Oh, I'm like, yeah, it's an armor, right? Yeah. <laughs> you know, they don't understand until you 
because you break it down in little pieces that you and and um, when I do is I break it down in, in just small pieces instead of like one, two, three, spin around, duh, duh, duh. right? And then like, oh, you're right. Like, yeah, yeah, it's simple. You know, it's like I personally can't do n- none of the fancy stuff. Turn around, is I mean, I'm too old. My back don't work and my knees don't work. So if I see something, you know, people like you know they oh ten moves and like oh just uh, just today. Um, one of my guys, I showed my guys uh, like, um, yeah, because they were doing lay locks. So there was uh, Dan Hearn did this move, oh, and it was like, on. it was like, yeah, <laughs> I was like, it's now. like, it's cool. Yeah, it's like, it was like ten pieces. Yeah. So I showed it to my guys. I'm like, cause, I, cause I can't get that fancy. So I showed it to my guys, and you know, cause they've been training with me for a long time. Like, I think we can do skip this. I'm like, yeah, you work what you're doing, and kind of uh, figure out what parts you don't need. And today, uh, the guys were just kind of going and stuff. And he went for, um, it's that, uh, what's it, what's that guy that's, uh, uh, Ryan, uh, Gordon Ryan? Ryan? Gordon Ryan? Yeah, he ended up catching Cyborg in the same move. Okay, yeah. Um, so, way- like, uh, like, did he start with, like, a reverse El Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But my, yeah. the way my, my guy, he broke it down, like, two parts and he ended up there. I was like, there you go. It's like, there's stuff that we can learn. And kind of slow, break it down, maybe, or even minimize the movements for people who are not as flexible or athletic or whatever. And uh, so that that's the way when people show me, like, well, I can't do that. I'm like, so let's try to break down, you know, a little smaller. I mean, Donahue's break, like, his technique, technical breakdown is pretty impressive. Oh, yeah, no, no, he, I mean, but it's like, really he's, he's, very, he's super detailed. Like, yeah, yeah, it's crazy. I mean, his, <laughs> his, his, I look at his Instagram post, I'm just like, is this fucking for real? Right, Every right. one of them. I, how could someone be that? But he's like that all the but time. But he's like, it's like a philosopher or something. Yeah, like, yeah. Yeah. like it's incredible. Like what he writes here, you guys can probably do it here. You know what I'm saying? It's like yeah. he, he yeah. is a bit verbose yeah. sometimes. Yeah. There was yeah. one that he was talking like this and the back attack system, this and that. And then I'm like, it's a reverse triangle. Yeah. Right. Really? I know. Yeah, right? Did you? I know. Yeah. I'm talking about. It's yeah. like, come on, man. Yeah. Right. Like, Speaking of reverse triangle, did you see that Seth Daniels? And uh, <laughs> that's man, good. he was that's getting, getting a lot of heat. shit for that. Why? I don't get it. Like, okay, so it's so, so I, I know why. I but. get it to a degree, but so let, let's for people that haven't you know what seen I'm talking about the no. Seth Daniels from guys okay. from Fight to Win. So, yeah, I know the yeah, guy you're yeah. talking about. So yeah, so Seth Daniels um, filmed a a DVD, DVD series? set. Yeah, uh, for BJJ fanatics and uh, uh, one of his regular training partners, employees at Fight to Win, um, uh, MMA fighter, good good jujitsu competitor, Brittany. Um, so he was using her to demonstrate, and he puts her in oh. like a he puts her in like a reverse triangle type choke, and Seth and uh, like not to make excuses for him, but like I've been on set for quite a few DVD instructionals. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's like, you want it to be so perfect, you know, like you don't want to have to do a reshoot or anything. Yeah. So I, I'm going to assume, so he puts it on her and she kind of, she taps mm-hmm. and he's like, no, 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 it's not in yet. You know, don't, right. don't, don't be tapping early. Right. Don't, like, don't make me look bad <laughs> by tapping early. But unfortunately for, for her, it like, it was in, he, right. he had the choke set and she was tapping cause you know, she was about to pass out. And so he, he sinks it in even deeper while explaining it. Right. And she goes straight out. Right. Oh, she went to sleep. She went yeah, to sleep. He, I, I, I saw kind of like set up and yeah, it's kind of right. like, bro- right, right, right. Browse yeah, doing. she went fully to sleep. She didn't right. know it. I mean, it was nasty. <laughs> and like, oh crap, Brit's out. <laughs> yeah, yeah Brit's out. And, and, and she had to post something saying, dude, Seth's my friend. We're it's, fine. it's just because the type of, like I know Seth. I've met him many times. He's been on the podcast. He's he's fucking great guy, man. I have nothing bad to say about him. He just you gotta know his character. You know, right, you right. gotta know how, how he is. He talks like yeah. he we call her, you know, don't be a pussy and this and that. And just how he is. That's just <laughs> yeah. taste lingo. Yeah, That's just how he talks. Sure, sure. right. He didn't mean any disrespect yeah. And, yeah. And to her or to f- females yeah, or whatever. Yeah. Just how he was saying. I'm pretty sure right. she's used to it. You know, it's like well, yeah. she's like, an like, MMA like, fighter. She's a brown belt yeah. MMA fighter. Pro grappling competitor. Pro grappling. Yeah. yeah. I mean, she's not some fun. And there were some people on, on the thread. I was just looking at the comments because there were so many of them. They're like, how could you do that? This is why this is why women won't be in the sport. I'm like, what are you talking about? Yeah. Like, well, okay. For, first so of all, ridiculous. first of all, like, let, let's, let's take the gender thing out of it. Although that probably did make it an additional hot button topic yeah, for yeah, some yeah, people. But like, 
if I accidentally put one of my training partners out, like mm -hmm. shame on me for not respecting the tap. Obviously, exactly. if somebody taps, you know, but like you said, in the circumstances, I'm sure he just probably thought, you know, it wasn't set yet, right, right, you know. Right. Um, but yeah, like if I put one of my training partners out, we're for sure going to joke around about for that sure. afterwards. Probably, probably, for, probably yes. for weeks. <laughs> they <laughs> do that it. all the time. Yeah. Yeah. We yeah. done it at the school. Time. So one day we, we, I put everybody and there's like about eight matches. I said, okay, everybody put a choke on everybody. Yeah. And they're like, I says, hold on as much as you can until you tap. So my buddy is over here inside and I'm looking that way. And all of a sudden I hear, coach, coach. I turn around and he's out. Yeah. So we pick him up. Because he knows how we are. He, we pick him up. We're like, hey, you okay? Nick, you okay? He gets up. He goes, looks around. He goes, all you guys are pussies for tapping out. <laughs> 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 so right, you're right. Like, we took around exactly, it. Yeah. Exactly. yeah. So yeah. we did it again. So we go over <laughs> right there. Right away? Wait, yeah. right away? So we did, yeah. So we're like, let's do it again. So uh, <laughs> so I had uh, Annabelle. She had uh, one of my guys. I said, no, oh, Annabelle, put your hand in deeper. So, you know, get the choking good. Yeah. yeah. So it's from the rear, rear choke? No, no, the from the guard, Cross just basic choke. Guard, yeah. Color, so okay. we're like, okay, go. And, I, and I'm walking, walking to make sure it was okay. And I turn around, it's like, coach, he's out. I'm like, oh, crap. So, we, so I, and her hands were so deep because she was tiny, she couldn't get her hands out. <laughs> so she let go, we turn him around, and then we're like, Ali, Ali, so his buddies are there. You okay? We're like, dude, you're a pussy. You're like, <laughs> we're like we were not, you don't know all the pictures that we took of you where you were asleep and this and that. <laughs> exactly. So it's like, yeah. You know, when it happens for like something like that, it's like, yeah, it's a joke, man. Yeah. It's like, yeah. we we love each other. Like, yeah. there's nothing that we do mal maliciously to hurt each other. It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. when I get popped and I get a black and like, I'm sorry. It's like, like, I'd rather get hit by you right, than right. some guy that's really trying to hurt me because exactly. I know it wasn't on purpose. We, right. were, we, we slipped or something, you know, or uh, whatever reason, like, uh, because, you know, especially my team, we all love each other. We're like, mm -hmm. literally like, like family. Right. You know, it's like we watch each other's kids, we go to each other's houses, you know, yeah, yeah. watch the fights or whatever. It's like, I, I I can't be more appreciative how they act towards my grandson, you know, because mm -hmm. sometimes, you know, he's a hyper four-year-old and they're like, they watch him, like, coach, we got him, this and that, and, nice. you know, because she went to school, um, you know, she got pregnant, she went to school, so me and my wife uh, watched him. Nice. So I would take him as a baby to class. And, right, got and, it. And my guys, I'm telling you, they were just the best. It's like, That's nice. they, they took... Like they're their uncles, they're his uncles. You know, it's like, uh, uh, like he doesn't have me. He has twenty other uncles. You know that, right. and they love him to death. And so, I mean, and that goes to show you, like, whatever happens, we're a family. Mm -hmm. Whether we hurt each other or not, it's not you know right. on purpose. It's because right. and and but you've seen videos where guys show. And then like turn around like oh shit he's out yeah yeah <laughs> it happened to yeah. me I almost went out at, at the Javi Vasquez seminar yeah he's doing yeah. rear naked chokes you see that one with, uh, oh, Ryan man, uh, Ryan Hall that? yeah yeah that, 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 that would be my friend Valerie Worthington putting out <laughs> our friend Ryan Hall famously Ryan's student was Seth, that you it, were you no, there no I wasn't there oh, I, okay. I, I just know the people involved Ryan's student Seth at the time um, I mean still still one of his students and training right. partners but yeah like they're like Ryan's out. And she looked mortified. <laughs> yeah. yeah, she's like, oh, oh no. Yeah, and, yeah. and Seth just cracks up laughing, yeah. just hysterical laughter yeah. as Ryan's like. Yeah. The so, person yeah. who does it does. Uh, Oftentimes feels bad. Yeah, yeah because yeah, because sure. I put, because my, my buddy Brian Farrell, we're, he's like, okay, let's start here. So I put a choke on him. This is like a couple years ago. I put a choke on him. And he's so strong that I don't know if he's playing or not. So all of a sudden I turn around and he's out. And I'm like, oh crap, Brian, Brian. So I get up and we had, well, there was a nurse there and she came on Brian. But because we love each other so much because they're my family. I was so scared. That I puked twice. <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> and he came over and goes, hey, I'm okay, I'm okay. I'm like, no, no, I know you're okay. <laughs> you know, it's like, because, if, but, but if he was nobody, they were like, ah, yeah, get right. up, you know. Because one of my guys put another guy out one time. He goes, hey, coach. This guy's dead. Yeah, he pointed and I'm like, uh, lift his legs up. He's like, is that even a thing? Like, lift your legs? Is that really do something? Or is that just <laughs> to make him feel better? I don't know. I just, like, we've been doing it since the 90s. <laughs> I just don't know if that's a real thing. Do you want, do you want, yeah, how's that work? Yeah, right? Abby, can, okay, so can you put, shed some light on this for here's us. Here's how it works. How's it work? It doesn't. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Just okay. makes you feel like you're doing something. <laughs> no, no. Okay. The theory. I gotta do something. The, right, right. The, the chicken's foot, behind, chicken's foot. Yeah. Does it work? Yeah, yeah. It's fine. The, the theory behind it is that you're like, 
blood, the blood the flow yes, back to the head heard, and, yeah, yeah. and so on and so forth. Um, there's been zero evidence, no evidence that that actually works. <laughs> but here's the, imp- here's the important thing it does. Yes. What okay? does it do? It gives you, the guy who just choked the other guy out, something to do so that you're not panicking. Right, right. right. <laughs> that makes more sense. Yeah, like, and again, like, like – there's actual like CPR techniques and whatnot that you sure. should know if you're going to be messing around right, with, right. you know. But yeah, like a lot of the a lot of the super traditional like uh, methods of, of of reviving somebody are really just like you're just stalling for time so you don't just have to watch them shake right. and, and, right, and right, right. their right. eyes roll in the back of their head right. and shit. Yeah, um, now my guy just yeah. pointed and goes, "Coach," and I'm like. Uh, let this things up. Go to right. I ran let, over and he's like, I don't, I don't let, know what to do. <laughs> you're, you're not doing any harm by lifting his legs no, up. I don't think you are. But I've right. seen no evidence that it brings him back faster. Right. Like, do they do that in, in the UFC? Do they, do that? they um, do that in judo. They, oh, yeah, they judo. do that in judo. I was going to yeah. ask you, when they lift him up and they put their knee um, on oh, their back. And they like force that, the, See, I've, I've been told that that's a thing to do. And again, I. I what is this one? Now? So this is one. I, I, I learned this in judo. So you get a guy passed out. You will seat him upright. Okay. And the main the main concern whenever anyone passes out, like you don't want them face down. That's the most important thing. Okay. Because okay. you don't want them like suffocating their own vomit if they were to throw up or something right, like right. that. You know, not that that ever happens, okay. but you know, that, that's <laughs> well, the face concern. Down would be better than face up if they're vomiting. Huh? You don't want them in like a pool of their own puke if they're vomiting. That's what, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Their face smashed into it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Okay. You don't want to you don't want to get smothered and vomit. Anything. That's not good. No, it's not. Yeah. That's not yeah. That's yeah. Not but you really want bad. your face up and vomit, and then you you can't you get it out. You want them generally on their side. Well, on their side. side. Yeah, so when you, you vomit, it's kind of like bleh, exactly. Right, right, right. Okay. But anyhow, so so that's a concern that I've never ever personally seen anyone puke when they go out. Either of But I was definitely told to be concerned about that. Has everyone ever peed in their pants? Yes. Has that happened? Yes. i never seen Not on my mats, but yeah. No, you're right. <laughs> I've seen a tournament. You ever seen tournaments where people yeah. throw up? I've seen that after yeah. matches, yeah. yeah. No, you, I've seen during the match. I, I saw during guy, the match? Yeah. Like, oh, I wow. go like this, all of a sudden, whoa. Yeah. Oh, wow. I, I've seen, uh, so I've seen it happen live. Uh, I've yeah. seen that recorded. I had a buddy in wrestling one time, got through the whole friggin' match, and as they were raising his hand, he his other up. hand shot up to his mouth wow. and pfft, right between oh. his fingers. It was terrible. If you do that oh, yeah. at my school, we will kill you. <laughs> <laughs> we will make fun of you for the rest of your life. Oh, You're that guy. Oh, my God. All my guys. They're like, one, they're like uh, one time the guy like, oh, I threw up a little. Like you were like, oh, you threw up. Right. And then they you were like, not to eat. They're like, hey, uh, just show uh, Mr. O. I'm like, oh, we, you will never let you live it down. Right. My guys are like, can we, like. We Can don't know it? where we find them. That's yeah. how <laughs> I tell yeah. him all the time. Like I'm like, like, where do we find no. these guys? <laughs> Sometimes I'm sitting there and like, uh, like one time I was in the outside looking in. I said, one of my, I let one of my buddies like, uh, he's like. I say, hey, you went to seminar, you know, show uh, uh, this pass. I, was like, oh, I can't even still, I can't, I can't still do it right. It's like a smash pass. And um, he's like, all right. So he's showing this one. And I'm, and I'm like on the outside looking in. And, I'm, and then uh, they're like, hey, push, push. They're like, you push. They're like, you, like, you can't, like, you're being a pussy. You're like, <laughs> you're like, why don't you move? Like, because he's smashing me. And I'm laughing. My, I'm like, this is how it is when, like, because right. we have so much fun. Right, right, right. They're like. Uh, uh, does that work? But well, yeah, if you're a little sissy or something, <laughs> like, or you know, like, coach, you know, and then we did your kind like, coach, uh, we're gonna protest because uh, you're hurting our feelings. Like, yeah, okay, all right, all right, all right. Like, <laughs> gotta be careful with those millennials. Oh, no, on trust me, yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah, you're no, but no, uh, my guy, you, you make one ask her, you make we will kill you for the rest of the night. <laughs> like, an example is, um, one of our, um, one of his two of his students. Like, they go back to forth, back and forth, I should say, all the time. Coach, like, you know how, like, you guys are saying about calling another black belt out about yeah. rolling? Well, they do that there I at know. the gym, but it's just in a joking manner. Right, like, right. it's, like, in a comfort zone. Sure. So, one time, one student was trying to, like, say something back. And he's like, well, uh, uh, he's like, ha, ha. And then the other guys, <laughs> so then the whole class, they're like... I'm gonna clap and I'm like, oh my goodness! Like you were, it just doesn't yeah, this stop. Is a, this is how bad nicknames <laughs> we and whatnot. Crying. That's funny. Yeah, he's like, uh, they call each other tuna because I, I, um, um, I call my guys land sharks because okay. it was a joke. Uh, I don't know. If you, I remember land shark. I live. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. Because a lot of these guys are like, um, uh, you know, too young. Like I'm too, uh, average twenty years older than these guys. Yeah, you know, yeah. so uh, they were calling each other fish. So one of my guys was trying to come back. I, as a joke, he's like, well, uh, 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 
that was it. <laughs> that he messed up for the rest of the class. He had us crying, and then we did a video. I, 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 he put it on Facebook. He's like, "This is the way you." Eh. And you go, eh. <laughs> oh my god! That's good. Well, he owned it. So, he did, oh, yeah, yeah, right? trust me. Yeah, yeah. it's, fun. So, it's uh, good to have that nice com- camaraderie oh, like no, that. It's no, fun. It's no, fun. A uh, buddy of mine, he says. Well, I met his wife one time, and he says, "I know when he went to your class because he comes once in a while." Mm-hmm. She goes, "Because he ha- comes home laughing, and you know, oh, we were doing this, and then he's like." Did you do jujitsu? <laughs> so you know the the great thing is about it is like people come in and see us laughing and joking this and that. So sometimes you know they're thinking like, oh man, these guys are serious. But then when they get on the mat, then you know yeah, it's it's all course. serious. Right. Even when I show technique, we're still kind of joking around this and that. Mm-hmm. But you know it, it's because we I make I we make it fun. Yeah, Not even right. I, even my guys make it great and fun. People come in, man, this is awesome. You know, I had so much fun, and that's the main thing. Like okay. Like now, I tell these guys n- n- two new rules: nobody gets injured, we have fun, mm-hmm. and then we do jujitsu. Yep. So, like that, guys. If you're injured, you can't come in. If you're hurt, you know, ah, my elbow hurt. That's fine. You can still come in this and that. But that's the main thing from now on. It's like we all have fun. We joke around. Right. You know, I put the music on. One time, what kind of music uh, you guys listen to over there? Well, everything. we have like a everything, everything. Yeah. yeah. So uh, right now it's like I got I'm on Eric B and uh, Rakim on the Pandora. Okay. That's my main thing right now. Or I put Wu Tang Clan. And then Wu Tang very popular in the community. One time my dad put uh, yes. like the dance music, mm-hmm. and he's like, "Oh, hey, okay, cool. uh, can I put it on?" I'm like, yeah, yeah, sure. So you know, what kind of dance music? Like Freestyle? techno, oh, techno, yeah. like EDM. So, yeah, yeah, something like Almost that. Almost that kind of music. So I was like, okay, you know, don't bother me. So everyone's doing fine until the beat drops. So <laughs> trust me. <laughs> At the end of the night, they're like, Coach, where put that? Don't you ever put that <laughs> shit on again? I'm like, uh, hey, they didn't want you to put that on again. Like. What? Yeah. <laughs> we've, we've definitely had people where it's like, hey, yeah, go ahead. You know, if you're, you're closest to the speaker, you go ahead and put something on. And then we're like, your radio privileges are revoked oh. for life. When I had the Bluetooth, <laughs> the young kids are like, hey, yeah. coach, can I put something on? And I don't listen to the new music. So they put the new rap on. I was like, off. Yeah. <laughs> that, like two minutes in, like, turn it off because it's all this and, and, and blah. That, and that, 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 you know, I, I feel like I'm, yeah, I'm old. You so are old. I am old. Yeah. So, I just wait, wait. He's old. How he's old? deceptively. Yeah. How he, old? How old do you think? You? He yes. Uh, Thirty-one. Wow. Thank you very much. Yeah. No. He 43. wishes. Forty-three. You're forty-three. Yes. Yeah. What are you eating? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Good for you. Thanks. Thanks. So I just like I can't get on board with like I'll have my, I'm driving around and I'm just listening to that's why you know land sharks <laughs> yeah because <exactly. laughs> he's old yeah. and I just can't and I hear the music I'm just like how is this yeah this is so like this the constant like you, you don't even know what the music is I don't even know you, I, yeah, I just, you hate I, you just I, know I, you I'm hate a, it <laughs> I'm not like offended I'm just like shouldn't they be offended by listening to this like why would you yeah. want to hear that language yeah. and I I was subject to a Nicki Minaj song i was i was going through my uh there's this website i go to called shock mansion and it's based out of australia and they had this like oh did you see this new nick minaj there's a bunch of things out, out on the internet and i'm like nick minaj let me let me play let this me click on that yeah. so i played it and i'm like how is this real like right. how is this yeah. how are people not upset about what yeah. she's saying you're losing fans of the show right now i don't <laughs> care do you guys play music here uh, oh like on the on the guitars that he has on the wall no 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 like when you're doing class um, so at, at various classes that I, I train at, you know, at, at different places, yes, it de- yeah. depends on the gym, oh, okay. what music yeah, gets played. Yeah, some places, uh, you know, cause, yeah. uh, uh, oh, some places, doesn't play music. Oh, it, oh it's, it's quiet. That's it's right. right. It's real That's quiet. Right. Yeah. yeah. Is so, quiet. And we're not, my guys aren't used to it yeah, yeah, yeah. and, and it, you know, but it's everything structured, you know, yeah, Gabriel yeah. teaches singing and, and, and it's quiet, but we're not, you know, cause we joke around and get the yeah. music playing. We're like, we're like, uh, can we, <laughs> yeah, no, I, I, See, I, I'm used to, I, I came up where there was no music mm-hmm. ever. Like, like the only time you'd listen to music is like when you're lifting weights okay. or, or doing yeah. cardio. Mm-hmm. Okay. So like the first time I, I ran into like somebody playing music on the mats, I'm like, this is kind of nice, but at the same time, this is like fast metal <laughs> <laughs> and I can feel myself getting like hyphy. Yeah. <laughs> <You know? laughs> like maybe this isn't like, maybe it's good. Maybe it's bad. Um, I actually found out like, like a, a buddy of mine said they've, they've done studies that like your heart rate yeah. matches the tempo of the, yeah. of the music. Fact? So like if somebody yeah. does play fast music, everyone literally starts moving faster. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. yeah. And That's if they, what play, they told me. play slow yeah. music, 
Yeah, it, it, it tends I mean, to bet, slow things back down. Back in the day, when, we were, when I was doing Jeet Kune Do and then we started jiu-jitsu. Uh, they did the bongos? They did the bongos. Yeah. Really? Li, li, my, uh, Dion Ricardo would sit there and play really? the fucking bongos. Just, yeah, that, it was, was, that was a big thing. It was uh, I mean, I loved it. Yeah, yeah. Like, mm-hmm. even doing Kali routines into the... Everything was just... Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. It was just... Yeah, a guy awesome. told me, he's like, hey, he goes, he said the same thing. He goes, that we want to hear music because study shows that you get into it, you know, yeah, your yeah. rhythm. And rhythm. I'm like, oh. Right. I, we, we uh, one time, um, we used to teach at Flow, the, oh, we would teach jiu jitsu. the same thing. Yeah, we would teach jiu jitsu and it was a cardio class. He'd have like club music, but like full blast. Like, so you'd have, like, think about like a warehouse. Yeah, yeah. And I used to take the class, it was a Saturday class. And he would have it on so loud, like you would literally feel like at the club. <laughs> but he would scream. But he was such a loud talker, like yeah. you could hear he would over, the over the music. Oh, yeah. He would yeah. scream over the mu- music. So he ended up moving um, to Florida and opened his um, gym, which I'm hundred percent positive from when I'm watching his videos. Still plays the music very, very wow. loud <laughs> at his boxing gym. Well, there were points where like he's teaching, and he's like dance. People are like he's like dance, and they start. They'll start dancing. Yeah. It, yeah, it was it was awesome. It was pretty good. But I turn the music down when I'm instructing, and then I turn it back up when yeah. people are like running in circles yeah, yeah, or yeah, 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 or sparring. Sure, sure, yeah. You know, but yeah. but yeah, yeah. I, I I definitely don't mind it, but I don't need it. So like, mm-hmm. if somebody doesn't remind me to put on the music, I'll just like yeah, I'll just yeah. Like, total yeah. piece. Yeah, yeah. Usually, yeah, I mean, that goes. It's either reggae. Or it's like eighties rock. Yeah, okay. I don't know why, but I like eighties rock. Range? Yeah. He loves eighties. Yeah, eighties yeah, is yeah. Eighties yeah. rock. It's so yeah. it's so good. Sometimes yeah. when it's low, then my buddy's like, uh, "Coach, I'm like DJ, turn it up." You know, yeah. so he'll turn it up because yeah, we're so used to it. But during the roll, when I'm rolling, there's music on. I don't hear the music. I don't know why. No? I just don't oh, hear. I'm you, so. I definitely react to. I don't yeah. hear it. Yeah, because like, well, because we used to do this at Tenth Planet all the time, where somebody would like like live stream our roles and I can literally tell that like my movements are syncing up at least in part okay. on like on beats and stuff like that. And I can tell that the, the, like the way that I move, I'm like, I don't move like that. Oh, it's just the song. <laughs> like, yeah. It's literally no, no, just the song yeah. that's, that's making But, but again, you have to make things fun and yeah. Yeah. kind of relaxing for everybody. So, uh, and they love it. You know, it's like, uh, like I said, if there's music, slow, like, uh, can you turn it up? Oh yeah, yeah, sure. We turn it up and can I listen to this. Yeah, yeah, sure. You know, so, yeah, it's it's like I said, it's a family and we love it and we have yeah. fun and, and like my guys competed. Uh, did uh, the sub the four of my guys did in a sub hunter yesterday? Oh yes, how yeah, it go? Yeah. How was that? How yeah. was how was the venue? I I I I was supposed to be on that card, but I my, I got injured. Um, I couldn't be on that was it. pretty cool. It was like because uh, I think it was his first one. Okay, so it was kind of the first uh, one here. Yeah, first yes. one here. Yeah, first one. So, here. so it was it was, it was, cool. in, it was in Oak Lawn. Yeah, yeah, it was same at the pavilion. The right? pavilion yeah. where we normally have uh, Nagas and the Nagas and no Nagas there or I'm sorry, New Breed. New Breed. I meant to say. Yeah, yeah, it was pretty cool. It was towards the back, and it was like, uh, was it the fight to win? Yeah, uh, elevated stage. The elevated stage. People come out with the okay. music. And oh yeah, yeah, it's so, pretty cool. But how the how long was the event? Oh, it was, yeah, it, they did it in reverse. You know how like uh, black belts go uh, last, and the, this one's they went first. Oh, how did that work out? So uh, it was a long night. <laughs> so my, one of my guys was literally the last one, so we didn't get that there like ten something. That poor blue belt. Yeah, no, it, we, it's actually that not no, that bad. That's not that us? bad. Ten o'clock. What time yeah. to start? Uh, about five. six. Oh, was it okay? Oh, it's not Doors that bad. open at five. How long? Yeah. How long yeah. were the matches? Uh, seven, and then then they had the kids, so there were like six, seven, and then eight minute matches. Oh, and black belts were at eight minutes. Yeah, and then um, yeah. So they had the so everything was in reverse, and then my guy was literally the last one, so it was just us. And the, yeah, the, the who fight. Yeah. Yeah. See, that was because like, the guy came by himself. Yeah, yeah. That was that was kind of my initial thought. Like the reason Seth puts it in the order he does, the reason we normally do that is that seeing the black belts is generally supposed to be the kind of like the highlight of the right. show. Right, right. You know, yeah. you're yeah. seeing the the best, most technical guys. Oftentimes, yeah. there's like a belt on the line right. at, at, yeah. at for the oh, last match the or something on. like yeah. that. Yeah. Right. So like. Like when I saw, like, totally makes sense. Let's put the kids up first. You know, like, like young kids, earlier bedtime. Don't want to keep them out all night. Yeah, you yeah. know, okay, that that makes sense. But then, like, why would you then put the, the black belts and the brown belts? In, why would you do that order? Because for sure, there's going to be guys who are like, okay, well, you know, I'm not sticking around for to watch some blue belts. Yeah, fight at the end of the card. Yeah. You know. Yeah. It, yeah, it, it was weird. It was. It, I mean, but, like, but uh, the I did the grappling games event. 
And it was again, you know, they did the kids, the blues, the purples, yeah, and the browns. And by the end of the night, it was so late; it was probably almost people midnight. still left. Yeah, people still left. Right, no, no yeah. one left to watch black to watch really great black belts. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you know. But so, my thing is, uh, don't have so many matches. Like, have a kick-ass event. Oh, that was yeah, a shorter was like kick-ass event. I think it was yeah. like thirty-two matches. Or something I think like so. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's a, a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. Yeah. It's a lot. I know. I get it. I understand why they do it. I'm so on board with promoting jujitsu, promoting the younger kids, sure. promoting the pl- purple, the blues, the brown. I, I, I get all that. But there comes a time where you're going to have to like make a decision. Either I'm going to have a great event and I want everyone to see everybody. You're going to have to have less, less, less people on the card. Yeah. I know the, the reasoning because the more people you have on the card, the more tickets they're, they're going out trying to sell for, for you. Sure, yeah. I right. get it. I get it. But if their teammates are on the card, they're probably going to go anyway. Yeah. Are their families going to go? Probably not. But it's going to be a little bit smaller event, but it, at least it's a maximizing the event, yeah. I think. I yeah. don't know. Well, it was my first time I saw it was uh, the way we went to sub only. So I, I didn't know like- What to expect? Yeah. So it, well, at the end, I'm like, okay- uh, they like there was no winner, right? Oh, so, so yeah, the, so their the, so it's their a draw. format, a draw. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So submission only. Whoever gets the sub, you know, obvious winner. Yeah. If there's no sub, there's a draw. It's it, a draw. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's determined. I didn't to be know a draw. That until literally we got there. Yeah. I was like, oh, so I was there's like, no, no like there's no refer- like fight to win. If yeah. There's a uh, there's right. They have judges yeah. decision. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. So there's a draw. Yeah. I was just like, okay. I'm like, oh. So like oh, Metaboris. I mean, I guess, yeah, technically. I mean, because that was the their draw. system, that too. Was if system there was too. no winner, then it, it was, was a draw. It was declared a draw. Yeah. So now the downside of that, and again, not naming names, but like somebody could be completely losing a match the entire time and just not get subbed. Yeah. That's what ha- and, was happening yesterday. Yeah. That's what yeah. I noticed. And now, yeah, yeah. So there was a guy like all over him, all over him. And then and I'm thinking, I was like, and I didn't know this. And then right. after, like, oh, well, he does just yeah. not get submitted. And yeah. You, I, I, you, I, didn't, you didn't take a loss technically on your record. Yeah. Yeah. But for sure you got your ass kicked. Yeah. You know? I don't I don't agree with that at all. Yeah. I don't I think I mean I, I know all these different events come out and they all want to make their own little like yeah. mark. But let's yeah, let's, mark, yeah. let's face the facts. Fight to win, the judges make sense. The UFC judges make sense. Yeah. You know, you're gonna have a fight. The fight to win judges are a lot better than UFC judges. Let's agree. <laughs> you know what I'm, but I'm just saying, like right, you have right. a fight, and if someone doesn't get knocked out or submitted, Someone had to win that fight. Right, right. By whatever some means. Way. Yeah, yeah, some way. Yeah. Let's just have a decisive winner. For sure. For right. have three, no, no, three like black said. belts as yeah. judges. Makes sense. Why yeah. would you have a tournament sub only? I don't care. Sub only. That's it. Yeah. I don't, come right. on, man. Yeah, Let's no, just, I mean, EBI no, no, like has its like, overtime escape. EBI has you know, Guys would be all over. Pros and like, cons to that, of he course. He was uh, going for a submission. So, submission and the other guy was just kind of like, and then it's like. It's not fair for the guy who's doing so much work yeah. to try to get the sub, doing so much work. Yeah, yeah. He gets no nothing. He gets a oh, okay, you draw. You didn't. Yeah. You couldn't. You couldn't sub yeah, the guy. Yeah, right. I was just like, oh, and, okay. And I, didn't, I, I really it's know. unfortunate. Yeah, then, I you get, then you get moments like the the shop, Brendan Shop, running around the ring at Metamorris and Yo, yeah. Oh, that's right. Oh, okay. <laughs> the dreaded shop shut down. Yes. Uh, Sorry to bring that up, but you know yeah. what I'm saying. I mean, I'm not saying anything about sub hunter or anything like that. I'm sure it's a great tournament and yeah. it works. That's yeah, what he I, wants to do. It's great for me personally. I just think that. I, the definitive if I do, win. Yeah, I just if I if I'm putting a lot of work on the mat and I'm throwing up subs and I'm fucking trying to go for the the finish and this guy's just excellent at his game, which is you know avoiding getting sub, but he's yeah. not doing anything on offense. Yeah, right. You're losing the fight. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, I was like, well, because there's no one who wins a fight defensively. Yeah. The offense guy's gonna win the fight, always. Except Eduardo Tellis. <laughs> Turtle guard. I yes. think guy. Yeah, that's right. Is he still competing? Yeah, he is. Yeah, he was a Masters World this year. Oh, um, okay, okay. Yeah. I'm sorry. It's like, <laughs> just a random aside. I, I absolutely love a bunch of the stuff that he does. Okay. Yeah. Um, like, like it's really fascinating the the, the way he he moves and, and, yeah, and his, cool. his different yeah. methods of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Throws you off. Yeah. The fact how many, is how so, many guys are doing that though? Not many, and and <laughs> here's the thing. Yeah, for that. yeah, like he's the only guy. Right. Well, back in the day, he was like winning I, IBJJF yeah, tournaments I yeah. with with sweep points from Turtle Guard. Yeah. Right. You can't get those points anymore. So like, <laughs> yeah. like the rules have changed right. so that his but game, his game doesn't work, but his game is still <laughs> right. is still what it is, and it, it still is. looks super cool. It's cool. Yeah, yeah, he's like, I okay, one okay I didn't get sweep points, but I'm still on top, and I'm gonna I'm gonna crush the shit out of you. You know, I remember one night with Davi is like, I think Salo was like when they first started, he like. He w- he goes straight into half card and he was sweeping people and I remember people going like what like 
you never go straight into half guard. You gotta, you know, it's like, <laughs> right, right. so it's like, uh, you know, this works, and then after, later on, it's on and so forth. But I, I remember, changes. Yeah. yeah, things change. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, like we should probably talk a little bit about stuff, Hunter. I mean, like, so you said you had you had four guys on. Yeah. Now I know, uh, I, I know because I know him, but also because he faced one of my teammates, uh, Said. Uh, yeah, and uh, uh-huh. uh, 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 Leo from uh, LCCT had a pretty pretty competitive match, and that was literally the first match that I saw. I'm like, oh, I'm so excited. I don't know who won. It's a draw. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, oh, oh, we're doing was draws. Was it gi or no gi? That it was, was gi. gi. Oh, it was gi match. Yeah, yeah. 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 And, and, like, that was good back and forth. They were they yeah. were very, very well matched up against each yeah. other. The, the good thing, too, about I think was uh, a lot of the guys, they were like, they were going like you know yeah. going and oh, going. Yeah, yeah. I didn't see anyone who's like I'm gonna just stall the, the yeah, decisions. Yeah, you yeah. know, good, like yeah. like not saying that. It's just yeah. The one the I gotta hand it to the guy that my guy Richie Tobar went up against. He went again. Were you there? The no, no, I didn't. I didn't see. I, I was watching the stream. Oh, okay, he fought. Uh, he went up against my guy, and then they drew. And then like two matches later, he went again up against Super. But I guess somebody didn't show up, and I gotta hand it to that kid, you know, but because he had a tough match and. He ended up getting like a young, really fast purple belt, and he ended up getting submitted. But still, to come in, yeah, do two, right? Yeah, it yeah. was, it was. No, yeah, I give him credit. It was pretty yeah, cool. Definite props. I, I would agree to a, a sub only event, no time limit. That that's what I oh, uh, sub only no time. Somebody's getting sub, but don't I, do sub only. Wait, time wait, wait, have you and been to draw. I, I I've been to those. I've never been. Yeah. I, I, I've been in one of those. No. The referees, I've literally been to one. The referees are like, I've seen referees after a while. I was like, this is it. Yeah. Yeah. They'll lay, they'll lay down. Yeah, this and, that. and then the referee's like, one time the guy's like, I'm never going to do this again. Right. right. Because They're one, brutal. Yes. Yeah, one time some guy, they the match stopped. He's like, I got to go to work. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's it. <laughs> where was that? Where was right, that? Right. Right. Yeah, no. That, that Was that Gracie Regionals? Maybe it was it, Gracie Regionals. Like, the finals the of Gracie like, Regionals, maybe? Like, I got to go to work. Like, they were going out for like 40 minutes. Like, yeah. Oh, okay. I'm like, hey, man, yeah. what happens? Like, he had to go to work. Yeah. To- <laughs> but that's the only time I think that I would never want to do. Uh, maybe I would do. I would be in it. I would never want to ref that match. But uh, at Another. a high level, I would. That's what I would like to see. If you're gonna do a sub only, no draw. Right. But like you said, that's that that format has been tried. <laughs> I has, agreed. I agreed. It has right. been tried. And it yes, is I get brutal it. for the refs. Oh. It's brutal for the the rest of the staff. It's brutal <laughs> for the fans. Right. Like, do you realize how awful it is to, to like? It's brutal. I know. Like if if people aren't just like going after it, killing it the whole time. Yes. I mean, Keenan versus Gordon Ryan. I had to fast forward to the end just to see the sub. <laughs> yeah, that was a long one. It was ninety minutes, wasn't it? it yeah, I think or it was. 70. Was it? It's ninety or seventy. <laughs> yeah, it, it, was <laughs> a long, it was It was over. A, it was in excess of an hour. It was wow. over an hour long. Yeah. Yeah. But I couldn't watch it. No, fuck. No. But I wanted to see the highlights. Of it. Yeah, show me the highlights. Great. Right. All right. I'm so, 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 sometimes guys are just trying to they they stand for like tw- ten minutes. They're like, uh, yeah. okay, it's sub only. Like one right. of you guys got to do something because you're gonna stand there yeah, for that, like. That's for, literally the, like. Yeah. Right. That's the only time I get ups- like I get upset when I see shitty wrestling in jujitsu. Anyhow, yeah. don't get me wrong. Yeah. But like. At least if there's points to be scored, I understand. Like, okay, you're trying not to get scored on. Right, you're right, right, you're right. either not good enough or right. you're evenly matched enough with the guy that right. you can't really score. You're looking for that opportunity. There's strategy. Bro, the, this this is sub only. Like, <laughs> right. basically, no, no basically what's happened here is we've gotten two guys. Both of them want to be on top. Right, right. right. Okay. And yeah. neither of them are good enough to make it happen right, right now. Exactly. Well, I shouldn't say good enough. But, you know, like. But yeah, they can't do You know, that, right. like. like yeah. Yeah, no, this, I see this happens an awful in chair, lot in heavyweight. It doesn't it. only happen in heavyweight, but yeah. but yeah, it's just like we're gonna have a lot of pushing and grunting. Yeah, I, was, <laughs> I went. That was the only one I went to it, and it was just yeah. like brutal. I was like, that's why I like the Eddie Bravo's thing of the sit down. I mean, I that's interesting. I I don't. I mean, right, I like right. how he's plays. Like, all right, you guys stand up, sit. Someone's got. Someone's someone's got to get down. Is it called sit down or is it a get down rule? I don't recall. I think he calls it a get down. I've seen that. I've seen the think, referee go, stop, stop, stop. You get One down. One you guys, yeah. Yes. Yeah. You, you get down. Yeah. And, that, and then I mean, now you start. Again, like yeah, I said, that works. for, cool. yeah, for that points, works. for points, I get it. You know, like, like somebody's got to, somebody's got to make the points, you know, but for sub only, like. for EBI. No, no, that's what I'm saying. Oh. Like for sub only, like, like, 
do you have a standing submission that you're trying for right now? How are you planning on winning this? I mean, you, yeah. you could go scissor leg, take them. I, I mean, there, there are some. There, there are some. Uh, most of the guys that are stalling out on the feet are not doing not dynamic doing entries. They're not doing dynamic right. entries. Because yeah, yeah. <laughs> a, a big part of, of doing those, those flying submissions and like scissor takedowns and things like that is a willingness to fight from the bottom right. if you miss it you miss or it, right. or or don't end in good position. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So um, it was it was pretty cool. It was my first one. So Yeah. So this weekend actually was like yeah. pretty action packed. We we had a huge number of seminars in town. Okay. Um we had Fuji just running a normal a normal tournament mm-hmm. yesterday. And then after that we had we had Sub Hunter. Right. You know, l- like so like I, I know some people that basically coached from like nine in the morning till nine at night nice. because of back to back. You know, had guys on at Fuji, yeah. had guys at where was Fuji at? Uh, it was up in a uh, uh, what you call uh, Harper College. Yeah, oh, it was Harper? a long night. I get there about oh, wow. five and then leave till like almost eleven. Right. Oh, shit. Yeah. So it was. It's a long night, but I mean, it was fine. You know, oh, was there a UFC in Moscow last night? Yeah. Yeah. yeah UFC. Sorry. That was another yeah, thing. The UFC, UFC was on. Arlovsky was on that yeah. card. Yeah. 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 Boxing. And you know what? I think he lost. I wasn't sure. I didn't. Oh, I did. Oh, I missed well, it. Who, did, yeah. who did Hunt win? I didn't even see. No, that. Yeah. No. Uh, Hunt lost. From what I heard. Yeah. Oh, oh wow. I don't, I don't. I'm gonna guess he got him with a uh, with a with a no gi Ezekiel. No, he that's, did not. We can look From, it up right now. But that, that, if I'm betting who, money, Hunt. Yeah. Mark Hunt. Lost by Nogi Ezekiel. If I'm betting money, <laughs> Olianik choked him in some way, shape, or form. Oh, is that the guy that chokes people from standing yeah. up? Yeah. yeah. Is that <laughs> the dude? Right, from bottom. That dude, chokes him. That dude is so good. Yeah, yeah. From bottom from of bottom mount. Mount. Yeah, yeah. yeah, he's on the bottom. Yeah, yeah. 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 That's crazy. Yeah. Um, when I first started jiu-jitsu, one, we went, I went to Texas one time, and my cousin's like, oh, I, my, a buddy of mine does jiu-jitsu, you know, um, can you come in, you know, because I was going to show him some stuff. I was a blue belt. I'm like, yeah, sure. So he came in, he saw, he's like, oh, he's like, I did a tournament. And the guy uh, smothered me from Mount. And I'm like, oh, I was like, what? I was like, he was on Mount and he just smothered you and you tapped? He goes, no, no, I was on Mount and he pushed my head into his chest and I tapped. And I'm sitting there going, I was trying to help him out. I was like, no, 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 no. <laughs> you were on my, on the bottom and he mounted you. He goes, no, no, I was on top and, he, and I tapped. And I was like, what? <laughs> what? what has even so, happened here? So I went home and I told my cousin, tell your buddy, don't ever tell anybody that story again <laughs> so i came back uh, to, you know, to chicago and i'm telling my guys and they were doing the same thing like no 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 no. the guy was like no i understand right. we can't understand this concept you right. know so it's like you know it's like how do you get submitted when you're in mount <laughs> yeah, full right. mount, full mount. They, he said he pushed his head into it and he tapped that's crazy i was like don't ever tell nobody yeah that just quit just not for you my yeah, friend yeah, <laughs> anymore, yeah. <laughs> you're a week there's, there's people that just just tell, they come up to you like, oh, I was in a tournament, and this and like, what? Oh, the great thing is when you go to tournaments and guys are like, tap out this and and I want to murder you and, yeah. and gear and all of the kinds of gear and then they get tapped out by like the little geeky gear. like they like <laughs> I've seen a guy like with skulls and this and that, take the guy down, and he he has he's inside control and the guy from the bottom taps him out from like a weird guillotine. Yeah, yeah. Now, it wasn't like. I would have been like, dude, you look a little scared there, but uh. yeah. I like the guys in tournaments who go no shirt. <laughs> <laughs> and they walk around like that for the rest of the, the rest tournament. Of the tournament. Oh, They're just it's... no shirt. I'm like, what are you doing? Oh, that's man? nuts. And then they lose. It's like, yeah, by like some like skinny kid or like, yeah, yeah. like no physique. And they're yeah. like, come on, bro. So let, let the record show that he did tap him out. Uh, but it was a rear naked choke instead of he tapped out uh, Hunt. He tapped, tapped out Hunt. So the first, choke. Uh, I believe that's the first time ha- Hunt's been yeah been tapped, and yeah, he got him with a rear naked choke, and it was in like inside of a minute or something like that. The first wow. round. Hold on. Yeah. Wait. Damn. Sorry. This is this is terrible radio. I'm that's sure. Right, but, right, <laughs> right. But, <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Official result. Defeated Mark Hunt via submission, rear naked choke at 426 of round one. Wow. What? That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah, I think that's the first time he's submitted, right? It's the first time I can recall. Yeah. They, they were saying this. Like, yeah, I don't know if that's first in the UFC yeah. that he's been submitted or first that's time he's a, ever yeah. been submitted. But yeah. So I, I was kind of joking when I said it was yeah. an Ezekiel choke, but I was not surprised at all that it was actually a choke. Yeah. So where does this guy go now? Uh, wherever he wants. He's got to be a top contender now, right? 
God, yeah, I don't know what his streak's like, but yeah, I mean, Hunt, Hunt's no joke. Well, who's who's next in line uh, for a title shot? Right. Um, and Daniel Cormier being the champ. Isn't Cormier, Cormier going to give a... Oh, no, he was supposed to fight uh, Lesnar, not... Oh, that's right, yeah. Lesnar. Yeah. That's yeah. the next one. Because Hunt's super upset about that, too. Yeah, and uh, Stipe, too. Stipe yeah. is like, oh, hey, yeah, obviously. come on, man, give me a rematch. It's like... Yeah, yeah it's a little shitty. But, but Hunt yeah. like, oh, just yeah. went on like a massive rant about them, like inviting Lesnar back, you know, steroids <laughs> guy. Well, and, I don't yeah. disagree with them. I mean, but they do have that $4 billion debt they got to pay. <laughs> so I do understand their reasoning. Right. Right, 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 you, right. you understand that that one's probably going to put more asses in seats? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. You got the wrestlers, well, you got the WWF yeah. uh, fans, right. and then, no, it's it's like three yeah, uh, type of well, uh, fans are coming. Isn't... Uh, What's the name coming out of retirement now, too? Uh, Floyd Mayweather to face Pacquiao. Oh, I did read that. That's oh, I missed yeah. that one. I saw that. Yeah, yeah I saw that. that? Yeah. It was like, I think they were in did the it? same room or something. I think that was staged. That but Instagram post yeah. where it's like, they're I there. I did see it's like, that. Okay, yeah. come on, guys. And he's like, I'm coming out of retirement. And, yeah. and I mean, Pacquiao's just like. All right, dude. <laughs> okay. Because <laughs> right, right, right. Pacquiao's not a shit talker. Right. Yeah. And Floyd's like all, you know, obviously. Yeah, but yeah, it's yeah. funny to see Pacquiao just be like, yeah, okay, okay. All right, let's go. He's so awkward. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I think it's a good fight. I mean, I didn't see the first one. I'd heard about it, but I don't know. Whatever. Uh, Everyone just wants to see Floyd lose. That's the whole. That's the whole thing yeah. around Floyd. A lot of people want to see him, him lose. Yeah. lose. Right, right, right. That's it. And he always disappoints. Yeah. <laughs> Fifty and zero. Yeah. Love him or hate him, like you will pay. Like yes, hoping that he loses him, but yes. Uh, Either way, you come out saying, "Yeah, he yeah. fucking won again. Yeah, yeah. Can't, can't take it yeah, away from him. Yeah. It is what it is." Yeah, but, you know. I just want to make sure that Connor and Khabib have. <laughs> I want that fight to happen. Oh. I know everyone wants that fight Everybody's to happen. Everybody's playing like nobody gets don't injured. Don't fucking yeah. get injured. Yeah, yeah. God. If Why that, are we even talking about possible injuries? Here? I don't I mean, know, man. Because yeah. it shit no, happens. Like, I feel like this one's cursed. Like, Wait, you think what's going to happen? Think? No, no. Like, You're calling like, it right now, Hav? No, I'm not. What's today's date? Today's the 16th. Oh shit! The hype is just so is huge weeks? for this one. Yeah, like so long October as the 6th. so long yeah. as the main card fights happens, like the rest of the card could fall apart, and I think everyone will still be happy, mind you. But like every single time, the UFC has gotten me this hyped up for anything, like because it was an amazing card or it was a fight that I just really wanted to see. Right. Something has fucking happened to <laughs> it. Right, right, right. <laughs> Wasn't yeah. it? Hasn't Khabib missed weight a few times? Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah well, Khabib I mean, missed weight against uh, Ferguson. So they couldn't fight there. Right. Because yeah. Ferguson and Fer- Khabib were going to fight yeah, right. many yeah. times. Three times, I think. I think it's on three, yeah. yeah. Then Ferguson hurt. this last time got hurt. Yeah. And then we went through the ridiculous, the combination of the goddamn Dolly situation yeah. and and them not being able to find a contender until they got all the way down to, you know, Iaquinta. And, like, yeah. you know, props to him for stepping up. Like, like nothing against Al. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, uh, but, yeah, like, like that was – that was ridiculous. Yeah. Like that whole card had issues, didn't it? Yeah. Am I misremembering? Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. Chesna, uh, Michael Kiesa got, got the cut. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Borg uh, got Borg got yeah cut. Yeah, there was a lot of problems. Yeah, so point. so like like I said, it's not like I think it's cursed per you know like oh they'll never fight or anything. I'm just yeah. saying like every time it's, that I get this hyped, did something happen with the Nick Diaz versus Poirier fight? Did that get scrapped? I I heard something about Nick Diaz being like fuck off. Is that what happened? I actually don't remember the fine details of oh, it. Yeah. <laughs> Makes perfect sense. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I'd like to see him fight again. And I thought that would have been a great fight for him. You know, Poirier yeah. versus him for, for both. I like both the guys. They fought, be- they fought before? No. I just thought that would be a good fight for yeah, them. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah, I thought that was yeah. interesting. Yeah. But I haven't heard anyone talk about it. So yeah, I'd, have, I, I'd have to look that one up. Right. Jamie, look that shit up. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> we but. still have guys that come in there like... Uh, you know, back in the day when everybody wanted to do MMA. Yeah, you remember those days when, oh. when everyone who did jiu-jitsu oh, was, was to... yeah, was, was <laughs> we had, we, we should talk we, about those days. Zito no. has, has minimal recollection of no, them because his like, jiu-jitsu was different. My jiu-jitsu was different. People come then. in and like, uh, I want to be an MMA fighter. I'm like, yeah, of course you do, kid. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So one time we had um, uh, a friend of mine, she was a female. So I was like, oh, I said, go with her. And he's like. Well, I'm on. I'm training to do MMA. I want to do him. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't worry about it. Don't worry. Man, she guilted him three times. <laughs> <laughs> so the, the second time, though, actually the first time, he said, he tells her, he's like, hey, I'm on doing MMA. So she's like, just do what you got to do. He never came back. Right. You know, it's like, yeah. And, and then you ever tell people like, oh, you do MMA? Like, yeah, I do that MMA stuff. Like, we joke around all the time. Like, yeah, I train UFC, bro. Yeah, exactly. yeah I train UFC. <laughs> <laughs> we, we still do it. We come into uh, school like that on an off day. Like, hey, do you guys train UFC here? Because I'm 
<laughs> you're like, yeah, yeah. We do Bellator sometimes. <laughs> Pride's the best because we do soccer kicks. Right, right. And then, uh, I do occasionally yell out Pride rules before, right. before head stomping someone. Yeah, yeah. Right. Pride, <laughs> Pride was the best. <laughs> oh, I miss those days. Yeah. I, I, I do love Pride. It was my favorite. Yeah. yeah. Favorite rule set with all the fuckery that went on, or despite all the fuckery that went on. Yeah. yeah. But uh, Did Rogan say that they, they on a kind of like, we will not test for right, steroids? Yeah. It's like, <laughs> yeah. And it's, you see the evolution so, uh, of guys like, all of a sudden they're like, was it um, Astro Wolverine? He was like inhuman. It was crazy, right? Even no, when he got to UFC, was just, he was, was just horse meat, yeah. bro. Just yeah. horse meat. Yeah, it's it's yeah. pretty crazy. I I mean, I don't understand the whole USADA thing now. I don't. I mean, I get it, but I don't understand how people are getting caught now. Like, why are they still doing shit they shouldn't do? Like, it doesn't make. I mean, sense to well, me. you know, I, I'm not, I'm not going to speak out of turn too much here, but we also have had some like weird false positives and things like that that have happened we've yeah. had several issues with with alleged tainted supplements that have gone to court like romero i think it was yeah. it, it was just like a tainted supplement and they had to like prove that you know like other containers of this supplement right. were also you know tainted it right. wasn't his fault at all and that's just like one of those things where it's like yeah like you don't know where in the factory in wherever the fuck right you know like yeah. oh they use this in the mixing bowl and then they're gonna mix steroids in it right right afterwards right you know go back to making your protein powder or whatever so yeah like like th there's been several of those because That's the test one, is one, super one, one, super one, one, accurate good, 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 good. you know uh, like crazy accurate and unfortunately Every once in a while, that's going to catch somebody who just has a tainted supplement. Is John mm -hmm. Jones ever going to come back? I don't know what's up with I that, dude. I doubt that. I don't know what the hell. I've uh, actually kind of, like, I don't know. I, I say this now, but if they if they announce, like, the title fight tomorrow, I probably would change my tune. But I've kind of, like, lost interest in John Jones. Yeah. Yeah, you know, like, I was so hyped for him. Now you don't care. Him. Like, oh, John's like, yeah. I yeah. don't care anymore. Well, like, when he was coming up, you know, uh, like, and he was doing, like, all this exciting shit, you know, like, mm -hmm. pulling out new moves every fight. I was like, this guy's a phenom. I've, I've never seen anyone like this. Oh, yeah. You know, it was just amazing. And then, like, then, like, he won the title. I'm like, oh, this, this guy's an asshole. Like, <laughs> right, right, right. oh, God, this is terrible. Like, like we've given the title <laughs> to the total prick. Right, right, you know, right. this is, yeah. But, you know, what can you do? The guy's right. really, really good at what yeah. he does. And then, like, all the ancillary bullshit that happened with like the, the car accident the drug abuse you know all the stories that i've heard that don't need to be repeated here and i'm just like okay terrible person terrible decisions in life hopefully he'll lose the title soon right still hasn't lost right still hadn't lost okay they've stripped him now because of other fuck-ups beyond right. you know and it's just like so yeah like it's like people that I, are so talented Right, I'm, I'm, but I'm like, you don't understand. I'm like, I'm done with him not living up to the potential. Yeah, you know? like, like, I think it's just a matter of like things come too easy. When yeah, it, when I think you get it, it is too easy. Like, the, you're yeah. just like, eh, whatever. Oh, you have yes men. Yeah. Yes, yeah. yes men. Yeah. All your guys is like, you know, I used to have like uh, guys that like, come in and like train for fights. Like, what I want to do is like, I don't care what you want to do. I'm like, this is what I'm teaching, you know. Or they come in just to spar, and so I've ignored them. Like, my guys that were here for two hours, uh, cardio. Technique now sparring now you want to come in just and just spar just roll like, yeah. no right. like you're not like then these are their fighters like you're not you can't treat them special right yeah uh, um because and then then they they'll leave or right. and then they expect like the special you know guys to come in like oh um, I want to join but I want to be like sign up sign right. up for regular class and then, you know it's like from my experience like people. In, uh, people uh, treating people special does not work. No, doesn't yeah. work. Because because you know fighters and um, and don't get me wrong. There's some of the, my best friends are the um, Clay Guida. I love him. You know he came training with us and this and that. And he and he would take class and coach this and that. And I'm like the guy's awesome. But there were other guys that come in and like sit on the side and do their own stuff. Like no no no. You can't, you right? Know. They're not being part of the family. Yeah, you right. know, you're like you, well, you want to be like, part yeah. of this. You have to be. Yeah. You know, it's like, like I, I originally want to call um, the school um, Academy Three Hundred because I say, in, in the movie Three Hundred, nobody's a, everybody's the same. Yes. Raw, you're only as good as the guy next to you. Right. You help the person next to you. There's nobody that's special. You know, so that's the way we see. It. Like you come in, like hey, you roll with my kid. That's 
you know, it's like, um, so to treat somebody, you know, to have people around you, oh, yes, you're the best. You know, yeah, like, yeah. you know, no, ah, that doesn't I work. don't want to do this. And, and someone shouldn't want to feel that way. Yeah. Like, if someone has that already in them, like, oh, you should cater to me because yeah. I'm, 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 you don't want them in your gym yeah. anyway. Right. I mean, I've, well, I shouldn't say I've seen it from both sides because I'm not the famous MMA fighter or anything, but I've, I've, I've seen those situations where it has worked out, where it's like, I can bring something to you but I need like I need special treatment, you know, and I've seen that occasionally yeah. work out. But for the most part, I've seen that completely backfire. And the and the people that I respect the most, whether it be fighters or whether they're coming to a gym for, for something very particular that, you know, are, are the ones that are just I'm here to train. You know, yes, I do this other thing, mm-hmm. um, but I want to learn. Everything you have to show, not For just sure. not yeah. just give me Anthony gi- Smith. He came in, mm-hmm. nicest guy. In, he's like he wanted to train. He's like there was nothing like he didn't you know show me this. What am I doing wrong? Yeah. That guy was, couldn't yeah. be more nicer. Now I can see not wanting to spar with certain people if you're a professional. If that's what you do, because you don't know who you're getting yeah. against. Sure, sure. That, someone could just that could be a concern. Go for a fucking yeah. stupid move just to say they tapped yeah. fucking Anthony Smith. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I get that, but just take the class. Because yeah. in class, you're just repping technique. Oh, right? no, that guy was... You know what I mean? So... And, like, and, and, and as big as he is, I'm thinking, I'm like, oh, man, it couldn't be nicer. Yeah. Flowing, nice. wasn't trying to hurt nobody. He's, like, flowing with my guys. He's, yeah. like... And then, he's like, oh, what did I do wrong? And I was, like, well... For me, I'm, like, you, I see, like, four arm bars. I'm, like, what? And I, he's, like, oh, that... You know, it's, like... Yeah. And it's... That's the best thing about people like that. Like, they, they're, like... He didn't sit there and go, like, okay... He was like, oh, oh, show me, show me. Like, they want to learn, you know? Mm-hmm. It, and it's people like him that uh, I think is like, it's the world, you know? Like, you, I will take you that time out to treat them special because they look at you like, I want to learn. Not like, oh, okay, I don't want to do that, you know? Right. Fighters that come in, is just like, they want to do their own thing. No, he wanted like, you show me what I am, what I need to learn. And for me, I was like, well, sometimes they're like, what can I show you? You know? And I'm like, well, move here and like, Wow, that's awesome. You know, it's like, so you appreciate the people at that level that still feel like, I just want to learn. Yeah, like, right. there's always something to learn. Like, right. for me, I'm, every day I want to learn something new. Like, it's, it's always. Yes. But at the same time, like, like, okay, so let, let's say, you know, it's a random Monday, you know, whoever MMA fighter comes rolling into the, the gym, and we just happen to be working that day on, like, cross-collar chokes, let's say. Okay. Maybe I totally understand if he's like, ah got a fight coming up we're not wearing the gi can we do something else yeah you know what let, let, let me work something else with you you know something more applicable to what you've immediately got coming okay. up yeah. that, that's understandable Makes sense. but when it's like um i'm in class today uh and uh i need you to not show any gi techniques because i gotta you know i gotta train for the cage it's like well maybe you shouldn't be here today right, right. Or, exactly. or you know right. maybe you should take a private lesson instead right, right, you know right. what, whatever the case may be so like i said i've seen situations where like special treatment was needed because of circumstances and it works out well because the person is loyal and appreciative and, sure. and there's a benefit to the gym yeah. okay but i've also definitely seen situations where it's like mm. i'm just here to basically take advantage of your generosity yeah <laughs> you know no clay was like that clay was awesome he would come yeah. in he's like yeah. i'm gonna get to fight i'm, I'm you know, fighting this guy you know he's a jiu-jitsu player he's like okay let's work you know we take him on the side and uh and you know luckily he had won that fight but yeah that guy was loyal you know? i mean he was come in and he wasn't just coming like ah. Uh, I don't want to do that. Right. No, no, he was great. And yeah. if you guys meet him, the guys, him Love and his, bro- him and his brother, are like the best. And, and I, yeah, I have a strange story about Clay and his brother. <laughs> <laughs> That's a few of them. Not, not a bad strange story. Just yeah, it, it, yeah, yeah. They're great guys. So, it's, so I saw, it's, I saw people, Clay's first ever MMA fight. <laughs> yeah, it's people like that uh, that make it worthwhile. Even the like I said, like the people at that level, like oh, I want to learn something. You know, it's like. That makes all the world like again, that's the beauty of jujitsu is like we want to learn, we're always learning. There's nothing like uh, people don't walk in like, oh, I know that. No, you know, it's like when I go to Cabrillo's to train, I act like I'm a white belt. Like, I, I ask, I think I ask the most questions than anything, <laughs> really, because I, because I want to feel like I, like, right. uh, like, you know, so the, the belt around waist doesn't matter. I want to feel like I want to learn some, some more stuff, you know. I, I learned this like pretty early on. Uh, after meeting him, but uh, my friend Riley Bodycomb, 
we would we would do seminars and like like he's with his coach like doing like a camp where a whole bunch of us samba practitioners are all around and riley's sitting there and he's asking all these questions and like they're really like basic questions a lot right, of times right. and I, i'm like you knew the answer to that, right? And he's like, yeah, yeah. But I could tell that other people right. that didn't know the answer also didn't know right. what question to ask. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I've all like, I've always thought that was so smart. So like, I try to emulate that. I'm, I'm actually not anywhere near as good at, but like, sometimes I'll, I'll see somebody like teaching something where I know it really well. And I know that they just did a detail that's so important, but they didn't explain it. Cause it, you know, they've done right. a move a thousand times and right, it's just right, right. natural right. form. Right. And I'm like, uh, yeah, so when you did that, what was your grip like or whatever it may be? Yeah, for sure, you know? for sure. Yeah. You're, so, you're yeah, not telling I, me you're doing it wrong, but you're like, right, oh, you're, I'm you're like, asking for extra details, exactly, not for exactly. you necessarily. Yeah, even, yeah. But for sure, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. I do, I do, I yeah. It happens to me in my class. So I'll, when I'm showing something, I do the technique, Yeah. but then I sometimes uh, want, we'll have a black belt in my class or whatever. Um, he'll explain it and he'll show me I'm like oh fuck yeah you're right okay everyone right. get back together yeah, right. yeah I, for sure, for sure. Yeah. I, I didn't do the explain detail. it I did yeah. the detail but I didn't show you this yeah. one thing that right. you probably should be doing you right. know like or you go back and like oh there's a minor whatever. detail that I missed yeah, and, yeah. yeah but yeah it's so, I mean because there's so like when you do jiu-jitsu for a while you become that's the word I'm looking for uh, it's just it's second nature you just right. do it yeah. and you don't really think about the move anymore because your body just goes that way. So you don't realize that <laughs> there's like <laughs> 10 steps, you show three. Yeah, yeah. Right. And it's those it's those other fucking seven that are like, everyone's like, yeah, oh, that, that, that poor white belt over there who's just like, I have no idea what he just did. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, like, and there's oh, a blue belt yeah. sitting next to him he's like, I don't know either. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he didn't explain shit. But I, I try to show every detail and I'm getting better as, you know, as I keep doing as as a becoming, you know, better at teaching. Um, trying to get step at step at step at step at, and then when they rep it, I explain them not to skip those steps For because sure. you need those in yeah. your mechanics yeah. to do the to, to, to do the move right. Yeah. And uh, it's always just like I'm trying to go around the room and I'm trying yeah. to like you know look and see everyone. Yeah. I'm like, can you show me a technique? Then they'll show it. I say, okay, go back. All right, you have to put that foot on yeah. the hip. There's a reason we don't. If we reason we put that foot on the hip. I don't want you just to throw up a triangle and not put that foot on the hip. There's a reason why I do it. So Wait, you have to do those steps. When you teach class and people forget anatomy, put your foot on their hip. <laughs> their other hip. No, That's a knee. No, the hip. <laughs> <laughs> That's a knee. I get you're it right, all, you're yeah, right. Right? Yeah. People are like, no, the hip. No, their hip. The, and then you try to be patient like, no, their hip. That's his not. That's his knee, not his hip. And I was like, <laughs> "How do you forget anatomy?" You know. But sometimes people are so nervous, right? You know, they're like especially with instructors standing over <laughs> watching. <laughs> it's like, yeah. right. it's like g grab their tricep, uh, their right. shoulder. No, no, their arm. No, their tricep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no idea. Right? I, I, had, I had a elbow. Uh, no, no, yeah, tricep. Uh, that, there was a um, one of my girls. She, she saw like he he had just started, so she saw him somewhere, and she's like, "Oh, hey, you know, um, remember me from class and blah blah blah." Like, hey, coaches, uh. Looks pretty mean, pretty scary, but he had just started. Yeah. And then uh, Joey's like, no, he's a super nice guy, super chill, and this and that. So th she said, this was not like on a Sunday. So he comes into the class on Tuesday, and, I, and I'm and so I'm like, D did you just forget anatomy? <laughs> so I'm yelling at him. She goes, I just told him you were the nicest guy in the world. <laughs> She's like, and you're screaming your head off. And I was like, oh, man. She goes, and I was like, am I not... I think I remember that. She goes, no, no, you came back and started joking around with him and this and that. Yeah. And I, she's like, but was the fun thing was, right. like, I just say you're a nice guy. She's like, and you're yelling at him. Do you forget anatomy? <laughs> but people do that. Yeah. People yeah. like, you know, like, no, that's not. And then, like you said, like, when you show something, like, just do what, just, just do exactly <laughs> what I, if you did exactly what I'm doing. Yes. And sometimes I'm, I'm questioned whether right. their, their, what, their eyes work. Yeah. And I'm like. What the fuck were you looking yeah. at? Because right. it's nowhere well, near I mean, yeah, what I was just doing. Do exactly that is what you showed. Yeah. Like, trust me, it works. Mirror it. Right. Mirror it. Just do it. It's, it's, it's uh, interesting. I, I for sure had people like zone out and, yeah. and like like I'm walking around the class and they're like, so so what did he do? Right. You know, like I heard you say that, man. Like, like, <laughs> I know you're letting your partner go first because you have no idea what I just showed. Right, right. But um, time, you paying attention? I mean, I guess paying attention. Yeah. Okay. Go. You know, clap. Right, right. And then they're like, See, walk over. Like you weren't paying attention. See the guys I train with, like, like they know I will fuck with them because I will be like, hey, 
you guys were here last week, right? Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. You remember the sequence we went over last week? Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Okay, cool. Show it to the whole class. <laughs> right, right. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> On the spot. Right. Yeah. Uh, but that's also important because, like, I'm. You know, we're training the next generation of teachers. Yes. They have to be For able sure. to do it For too. For sure. Yeah. Right. 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 Um, I get it. Like when I'm when I'm walking around because I, I make it like and, and all the good instructors I know are like this, obviously. But like I make it a very. It's important to me which makes it really difficult when I have a huge class or a giant seminar or something like that. But it's important to me that I try to get around to everyone to at least see yeah, like for sure. one rep yeah. out of everyone, one yeah. good rep out of everyone. And like, I'll see, I'll be like, okay, that guy messed up that detail. I'll correct it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, move on. Okay, they did it fine. Oh, oh this guy messed up that yeah. detail. I'll correct it. I'll be sitting there. I'm like, we've only got 15 people here. <laughs> Three of them have already screwed up the technique in this one area. Okay, everyone come in. I obviously explained this poorly. Let's right, go right, over right. that detail right, again right, that everyone right. seems to be missing. I, you always, know. I always feel like, because I'm new at, at teaching, so I, I always feel that I, I'm like, like Javi's an excellent instructor. Thank you. And I, I'm all right. Yeah, and I try to like emulate people I feel are great. Like For my, sure. My, For sure. Our, our Andre is an excellent instructor. Yeah. I would like to and Javi's excellent instructor. So I want to formulate my class basically like they do theirs. And I try to go around to everyone and show me your technique. And I, I got that a lot from you. Um, but it's like, I don't want to make the class like only do one or two techniques. I'm like, oh, can we get at least three techniques right. in this class? Right, right. At least let me get three and some, and some movement, movement drills. Right. But sometimes it's like, you know what? Let's just keep going over it because you guys need the reps. And sometimes <laughs> the younger, because I'm teaching the beginners class and the yeah. majority is a white belt and blue. Yeah. Uh, I don't want to lose their interest. For sure. I don't right. want them to be like, okay, we're just fucking doing arm bars. Yeah. I'm like, if I, I wish I could just do arm bars for a whole class. Like that would be like, <laughs> you I love would that, love that, that class. class of reps. Arm bars and giants. That's all he does. Tra- I, I, I would just do that class <laughs> all day long. You know, but that's just me because I know I know what it gets me. Oh, I right. see, I know the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. Sure, I know sure. what that is. Right. So doing those reps, I know what it gets me. Yeah. But the younger students, they're 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 not there yet. They're like, oh, can we do something else? Okay, yeah. I get it. It's armbar. That, that was no, um, there's so much more to it. Uh, um, he was ex coach player, and he came in and kind of trained with us. Really, really nice guy. So um, he took he came in, he took a class. And then he, he didn't even tell me, he told one of my guys, which is like one of the greatest compliments, you know, when somebody else tells you, cause they told somebody else, like, I, I love it. You know, yeah. it's like, so he says, I'm not, he's like, no bullshit. He's like, I, he's like, cause I travel around the world. Cause of, you know, baseball and this and that. He's like train here and I train there. He goes, nobody hunts arms. Like, this cool. I was like, oh, that's aw man. I was like so yeah. happy. It was like like a little kid. I was like, man, that was so cool for him to say that, you know? Cause I know a, a guy a, a buddy of mine went to another school and they on their wall they have um uh arm collectors or something like okay. that. I'm like, oh that's right. pretty cool. You yeah. know, it's like um but yeah, it's cool when you hear a compliment from not even them telling you, telling right. somebody Second else. It's like, yeah. oh man, it was so awesome. I was just like, I love it, you know, it's like like I said, I take it with a grain of salt and I appreciate every day. I sometimes the the second people come in like I appreciate you guys walking in. Yeah. You know how hard it is to go home, watch TV, eat and get up and go, you know, Fuck sweat that. and get your ass kicked this and that. It takes a special kind of person. It does. Yeah. You know, it's like I tell people I'm like I know you'd rather be home watching TV, play PlayStation, eating cereal, Sunday morning, Saturday morning cartoons or whatever. Like I appreciate you walking in. You know, we all have fa- well some of us have families and kids and I'm like, I'd rather be home with my grandson playing or whatever. When she was little, I'd rather be home with her. But, you know, we're here and we're doing what we love because it changes lives. You know, yeah. it's like it's like the the breath that we, you know, breathe and the blood blood that we sweat, blood, sweat, and tears. You know, it's like. Yeah. So it, it's pretty cool when any little compliment is like, man, I love yeah. it. It, it doesn't matter how long you've been doing this. If somebody says, man, this guy Man, that's awesome. You know, it's like I appreciate it and 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 like I said, I appreciate my guys. Everybody who walks in the door because it's not easy. No. You know, it's, it's like uh, hardest part uh, hardest part of Jesus is yeah. walking through that door. Yeah, for sure. That's the yeah. hardest part. To yeah. me it is. I mean yeah. not, I mean I, I run to the door. But <laughs> yeah. what, I'm just telling <laughs> hey, people that uh, yeah. well, not like how long did it take you to get back to it though? I mean, like From the nineties? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I mean I started jujitsu. 93 94 okay and i i i can recollect doing jujitsu that was my gi in that in that box you see there that was from the 90s okay 
And um, I uh, I can remember doing jujitsu, and I hated it. I fucking hated it. Did you really? I fucking hated. It. <laughs> I was smaller than I am now. Right. And I was just getting smashed, and yeah, I didn't yeah. know I what it. It was going on. Right, I did, right. I just, and I'm like, fuck this. I just can't get on board with this. This People is just grabbing terrible. me, holding me down. Yeah. I rather stand up, do Kali, do a Muay Thai. So that's why I did. Yeah. But I still went through the motions of the classes and, and stuff like that. And then I, I stopped in late 90s. Um, and then I started my company, and, and I got back into it. How long um, did you break? Uh, I just got back in uh, less than four years ago. Okay. So my break was very long, 20 years yeah. almost. And so I remember you were you were hovering, hovering around the jujitsu, ju- yeah. but you weren't actually joining in when I met you. Yeah. And yeah, because... That uh, was Eddie Bravo seminar. Mm-hmm. I went to... Because th- I was so turned off by the gi because I remember my days in the gi. I was like, right. fuck this. I'm going. So my friend... Uh, Gus is like, dude, come to a no gi class. I'm like, no gi, what the fuck is that? I didn't know <laughs> right. that existed, you right, know. Right, right. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I went to meet Eddie Bravo with Gus and Javi, uh, Jake, all those guys were there, and um, I was just hanging out. I'm like, oh, this is cool, you know, what the fuck, right? You can't hold me down, you can't hold, hold me down with your like, clothing. You like no gi better? <laughs> no, well, now I like it equally. When you came back, when I came back, I came back yeah. strictly no gi for sure. So the first uh, two plus years, I just did. Yeah, no gi. Yeah. And then I met Andre here on the podcast, and I went to Andre's school and wore the gi. I went to a seminar with Javi in the gi, mm-hmm. and I'm like, I'm gonna give this yeah. another chance, another chance, because everyone sure. we met on this podcast was like, you don't do gi, like, what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> right, and we're right. like, wait a minute, something I, I might feel be wrong. More uh, gi, you you you're way you gain less injured with yeah. the gi. Hmm. I can see that. Be, be, because Except your fingers. <laughs> your fingers. Yeah, no, for sure. Because yeah. one time um, I started teaching UIC and the kids were like, you know, because they see, and they're young, you know, I was like, none of them were even a drinking age. It's like, oh, well, we're going to do no gi and this and that. I said, okay, okay. I said, I'll give you guys an example of what gi and no gi is. So I put a gi out, one of the kids, and I said, so I just start tugging on his, you know, the collar. Yeah. Collar, and like, it's fine. I was like, good. He goes, yeah, yeah, just tugging me. I go, that's gi. I go, this is no gi. And I, Wham! And I shoved this head into the mat. This <laughs> 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 is yeah. why people are getting hurt. <laughs> and his head bounces off the mat. And I'm like, I'm like, that's no gi. I'm like, what do you guys want to learn? They're like, gi. yeah, gi. We're like, we're, I'm like, we're like, where do we order one? I'm like, right. go here, 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 here. Yeah, yeah. that's Ac- funny. Excellent yeah. sales pitch there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so, how many gis you sell that yeah, way? Really, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so no, at the like that's when we good. left, uh, pretty much everybody had the gi on. You yeah. know, so I think it's important now after doing. I've been doing the gi now. A little over a year and a half now. Um, I think it's important to do both. I love gi for sure so much now, yeah. and I appreciate it so much more yeah, yeah. now. Um, and I, but when I take the gi off and I do no gi, I, I love that. I just I yeah, love you that move too. around like that because it, um, it's it's all the weight off you. Yeah, so you it's like um, it's yeah, like for sure. I I train with a weight vest on, you know. Three days a week, yeah. and then for that one day I do no gi. It's like wave vest comes off. I'm just like, oh yeah, boom, boom. Yeah, yeah. I'm just on it, yeah. and it's fucking awesome. And yeah. I love it. I love both. Yeah. I couldn't imagine my life doing uh, one without the other. Yeah. I gotta do them both. I, I love gi more because we did no gi for like so long, mm-hmm. and it was just injury after injury, and I was yeah. hurt. And excuse, excuse me, you know. Um, so after a while, I was just like, I'm, I want to keep this on, you know. And then especially when I saw, like I said, Elio that day, yeah, you know, he's ninety something still. I'm like. Right. I, for me, I'm like that's the power of the gi. Like it, it keeps you going to like you're 90, you know. And uh, real quick, because I saw that I'm looking at the picture of the, I actually have a book like that it says his autograph, Elio's autograph, and Hoyler's. Oh, oh wow! I have a book like that. Nice. nice. Right, and then I had a picture with him and me and Elio, but my buddy had lost the camera. But was like, oh, oh damn. So we were joking around with we, like, we're, he's, for the record, for, for the listeners at home, he's pointing to the picture of Hickson. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I have Hickson, Elio, and and Hoyler on one book and autograph. Nice. Oh, that was, and yeah, that's my gold. So, but but anyways, I, like seeing Elio, like to me, that was just like I want him to do this till I'm nine years old. You know? Yeah, so, I think I, I mean, I think pretty much all of us are like that. Yeah, like not maybe not. Everyone's inspired by Alio per se, but everyone that gets into this. Carlos had a birthday the other day. Carlos Gracie. Yeah, yeah. Same same day as my father's birthday. Oh, oh, isn't that auspicious? Isn't that crazy? <laughs> oh, wait. I didn't know that until I saw it. I'm like, oh, my dad, my dad and him have the same. Couldn't be farther farther apart people. Right. right. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but interesting fact. 
Yeah, no. Nah. Yeah, but my love the gi more. Well, I guess. Are you, showing us, are you showing us some gi te- technique today? For sure. Yeah. Arm bars. Always. Arm chokes. Always. Oh, arm, <laughs> I mean, arm and chokes, huh? No, I, we, like we joke around because because one day, like if I like the rare occasion I show a choke, my the team, my guys are like start like oh you know they joke around like what <laughs> sure? like it's they're like no it's an arm choke they're like they're not even call it chokes anymore because they're like arm um, choke. yeah no yeah. so one time he was teaching like a real fancy move i assume it was and the guys had told um he was teaching the move and then they're done with the move and they're like what coach and so my mom's name is alicia they're like where's alicia with the advil and the ibuprofen like it's too much of a fancy move for him to be like moving his muscles so that's how much they joke around with yeah, each other. yeah they, they get the advil out <laughs> yeah because because I, I can't do that so once i was like okay i'm gonna do something fancy they're like oh get the advil out call your wife you're gonna need you know <laughs> yeah so i'm ba- i you know well arm bars but uh it's but good. yeah when i do a, a joke that joke around like so they, they don't even call it, like I said, they call it arm chokes. Arm chokes. Yeah. yeah. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah. All right. Let's go do some technique. Man. For sure. Let's go Where do can some arm find chokes. You? Uh, Mission MMA. Okay. Um, and 1624, <coughs> excuse me, Canal. Um, I'm there every day except Wednesdays and Fridays. Okay. And then my the assistant coach or my other black belt, uh, uh, Saeed team. he teaches the Muay Thai. And then once in a while he'll, he'll come in. Uh, he he'll go over some technique. Like we'll we'll go back and forth. Sure. And then uh, like I have him, and then I have a buddy of mine, Todd Fine. He moved to Texas. He's a black belt under me. And then uh, I have a few brown belts, purple belts, and and so. But with, I'm there every day. You know, nice. if nice. I. If I have to take my grandson with me, I take him with me. And he's there every day. Um, yeah. So funny story. Um, our family, they're always asking for him. Oh, like my mom's already like got like. The whole speech. He's at a tournament. He's teaching. His students need him. So <laughs> yeah. it'll be like, so in like our Mexican family, like quinceanera, those little 15 birthday and mm-hmm. weddings and almost big events. Where's, where's, where's Mito? <laughs> He's at a tournament. He, his students need him. And they'll yeah. be like, oh, does that yeah. bother you? My mom's like, no, he loves what he does. They love him. Right. They appreciate him. He's there all the time. Like how he said he was there like until almost 11 o'clock at night. Yeah. He's there 100% of the That's way. That's awesome. That's fucking awesome. Your, daughter, your daughter is one who emailed. So yeah. your daughter sent us this like long email. <laughs> <laughs> I told <laughs> when, them that. All she, I mean, literally, I mean, we, we, we're we making our rounds. Obviously, we haven't hit everybody yet, but For we sure. are making rounds. And we did have you on, on our radar. Right. She sent us literally all she had to say was, here's my dad's name. When can we come in? That's all she had to say. Right. But she wrote this great, it was a fantastic, like, yeah. you know, praise. Right. Uh, it we, was we awesome. We should probably pull it off, let you let you put it up on, like, the website. Right, right, right. It was <laughs> a good email. It was, yeah. You spoke yeah. very highly of your father, but we already knew he was a great guy. Yeah, yeah. no, so. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. No, that's, I was going was to say thank, I was going to thank my sponsor, which was her. <laughs> number one sponsor, right there. Yeah. Number one sponsor, number one fan. Right. Yeah, yeah. it was one, yeah. 50th birthday, so I was trying to go all out. I got him, like, so many rash guards, and then the rash guard company gave him, like, a discount nice. even for his yeah. birthday. Day, and then I was just like, nice. this was something that he's like, oh, he would talk about. It. He's like, this is a cool podcast. And I'm like, oh, oh what, what is it? <laughs> so then somebody had said, oh, you should email it. So I was like, oh, I'm at work. And I'm like, let me just do <laughs> yeah. it here while I can right. see what see what happens. Yeah. Well, we're glad you did. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, no, I, no, I appreciate it. It's sure, just, man. Just, I, trust me, I on the way here, I was sweating and nervous. And <laughs> you did fine, just, yeah, man. No, but it was good, man. Yeah, it was a conversation. Yeah, for bullshit. sure, like a conversation. Yeah. 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 yeah, but like I said, I'm there every day and 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 everybody's more welcome to come in and we do you guys have open mats on sundays sundays oh yeah. what time on sundays 12, 12 oh, to nice. two. oh well no, that's probably gonna increase the open mat attendance right <laughs> yeah, there. yeah no for sure we uh and then nice. uh like it, we're all family there. like yeah, i said yeah. you know i don't treat nobody different than my cousins and my right, kid right. And, and my grandson who comes on the mat sometimes but uh my team and my my family that i trust me they they you come in, they treat you like you're one. You've been there for years. Yeah, They're just great nice. guys, and and I'm nothing without them. Yeah. I appreciate them more than anything. Her more than anything. You know, it's like my I'm her biggest fan. You know, and yeah. um, but really, it's like it changed my life, and I'm s- so happy for it for for learning jujitsu and walking in. And the first day, I was like, man, I'm gonna do this forever. You know, it's like where you know where would we be mm-hmm. without it? Where would I be without it? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Working at uh, blue, working at Blue Cross Blue Shield, and just going home, right? That's it, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you got a, uh, you got social media, uh, Instagram, Facebook. Yeah. Uh, 
My Instagram is uh, at Mito Mota. And then uh, my Facebook is Ramiro Machete Mota. Machete. Huh? You're right. We did that a long time ago, me and my brother and a buddy of mine. So we just kept it. <laughs> and so uh, I did like the name Academy 300. That's pretty badass. Yeah, I wanted, uh, you know, we, we were, I was arguing with my one. guys. That's like, pretty cool. Yeah. So we ended up calling uh, uh, Mota Martial Arts. Yeah, boy, yeah. And then we moved to Mission. But I wanted to call it because, like I said, like I didn't want to make it about me. I want to yeah. make it about all of us. Like, I'm no better than you, yeah. and better than you. Like, you know, and I tell my guys all the time, like, I'm not, when we spar or we're, I'm not better than you. I have to get there that one second before you or else yeah. I'm not better than you. you know? So, but it's cool. Like I said, I love it. I love my guys. I'm, you know, like she said, my mom has come in from out of town for parties and I have not gone to them <laughs> because, you know, I'm with my guys. It's a real thing. Yeah. 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 You, you're like, they're saying like you're the closest to the people that you bleed with, you know? Yeah. You know, so... 100%. Yeah, no, but I, again, I appreciate it. Yeah, man, we appreciate you coming on. Yeah, yeah it's let's awesome. Go, let's go do some jujitsu. Thank you so much. Here. For sure. Let's go do some arm chokes. Yeah, yeah. Let's do some arm chokes. <laughs> All right, we'll see you guys. Okay, Bye. thank you. This episode of the podcast is brought to you by Very Hard to Submit. Go to vhtsny.com and check out their kimonos, compression gear, and apparel. This is a brand we are excited to be supported by. Their gear is high quality with a clean design. Go to vhtsny.com and see for yourself. Hey, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. For more information about Grappler Union Podcast, you could visit us at our website at grapplerunion.com. You can follow us on Instagram at Grappler Union. Please like us on Facebook. Be sure to subscribe on iTunes. And all of our episodes are available on our YouTube channel. Say what? Be sure, be sure to subscribe. Yeah, subscribe to all that shit. <laughs> um, you got to do another take, right? Oh.